do 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 time to gotcha and by gotcha i mean gotcha we gotta roll immediately as soon as we enter the game as soon as we enter the game oh everything's going shit already that's all right all right ladies and gentlemen we're here to get hair we gotta get hair middle we gotta complete our full set hair oh actually, actually it's alexandra middle not hair middle we gotta get it done we're gonna get all the gems that we can for today and then we've got some grinding to do in the simulated universe in hsr we're gonna get a lot of shit done we need to unlock, uh, well, we need to unlock, we have unlocked, and we need to do all four new simulated universe tiers. All three worlds, all four worlds have a different tier unlock. But first, we're going to start the stream off immediately with a single roll. Right, look at this, we're five away. Uh, we're five away. <clears throat> and because of the absolute god I am, we're going to get right here, right here, this one. Shit, that had me for a second there. Uh, we're looking, we're desperately looking for a bit of a hair uh, middle piece, right? We're looking for a desperate hair middle piece. Look at this. All right. Got the full 65 there. We've got the top and bottom. We need the middle for our character to reach supreme power. We have a few avenues to get gems today. Obviously the Abyss, Spiral, uh, not Spiral Abyss, rather the Normal Abyss uh, and the Elysian Realm. Uh, and maybe if the Memorial Arena is there, uh, we can get a few gems from that. Today is practically the last day to do this. If I don't get it today, uh, I don't believe we get it at all. I believe that to be the case. If I don't get it today, I will never get it. Oh, another purple scared me for a second. Uh, that's all we can do for now. We need to do the abyss. Uh, I think we also have the quiz to do, right? Yeah, we have the quiz. All right. First thing we always do as well, the quiz. Oh, we, okay. Ten. Did we get a 10 out of 10 last week? I don't think so. No, we didn't. We found, like, one question. Fuhua Musician set is a good support for who? Fuhua Fire Musician Music Eden. Eden Music Fuhua Fire. Fire damage dealer. Okay. What is the Hershia of Reason's inflicted analyzed state on enemies? Or how does she use weapon key active, uh, weapon active key reason? Hershia of Sendience, uh, becomes psyched upon switching her weapon and using QTE. What does this status do? Oh, it's not the left ones. Drastically increased damage dealt. I don't... Uh, restore SP. Yeah, see, it sounds a bit more believable. Drastically is not a way to describe damage increase. Which is the, <coughs> which of the following statements is uh, true about Banaras? Uh, can be affected by time conditions. That is true. Has physical resistance? No. Changes elemental type randomly? Not necessarily... Not tech... This one. Uh, battles often move at fast pace. Which elf? Uh, that's Klein. Following Hershia, Flame Sun, QTE, or the rest. A true Sigenim's ultimate da magic damage source. Which the following is wrong. That runs wrong. Uh, Midnight Absinthe ultimate produces smoke. How can this be triggered? Uh, was enemy smoking by, uh, weapon skill or attack by teammates? Uh, that one, I think, yeah. Uh, Hershia of Sendience pull in enemies. By using all of the things that she does. How does Hersha Reason restore Constructium? Regular. No. I saw attacks and I just clicked it. Hit restart. Uh, which one did I get wrong? This one. It was uh, Physical Resistance. What was the next one we got wrong? This one. Uh, hit enemies with basic attacks. Only two wrong. That's not bad. You have to use Flame Silent Team. This is not great. This is not great. Okay, 
Oh, am I playing this character correctly? Absolutely. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. What was that, Cleef? I'm like 10 seconds? 24. Like, come on. Come on. That gets me that stuff, though. Anyway. Uh, Abyss. I, if it's a physical Abyss, we may be able to do well. But I think I rank up this one, right? Uh, I did... Yeah, I think I went up. Uh, yeah, we're at 1875. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we just need to place rank one again. Ooh, what is it? What week is it? Ooh, what the... Oh, it's a pure fire week. Oh, I can't compete in these. You need, like, um... Wait, no, is it? Truth. What are you rocking? I guess she's a good support. Oops. What are you rocking as well, Mr. Number 3? Spinner Astera. Okay, maybe we'll be fine. It is fire. Pure fire. And then lightning, less physical on biologic and biologic. So we can use our um, Aponia there or something. Mmm. Fire and ignited damage. I don't have any ignite characters, so I just have to run the Hersha team. The Hersha trio. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, we have to run the Hersha trio. I don't really like running the Hersha trio. It gets a... Oh, pardon me. It gets a bit boring running the Hersha trio, but... I got no other Ignite characters. I need to build my Eye Chime if I, uh, if I ever remember to do it. Just, every single time I think about like buying Eye Chime fragments for the week, I'm just always discouraged by uh, by a lot of things. The mere fact of a uh, Prometheus existing. Now that we've finished Heart of Fellas, though, that is pretty good. But there's not many characters after this. Let me just get myself a single copy of Akira so I can have that uh, HP loss mechanic and be done with that character because absolutely no investment is going into Akira. There's something about it. I don't think I want to condone that kind of character design. Not a lot of characters are as uh, stingy as Kira, and I hope like characters after this aren't like that. There is a fire statue. <clears throat> oh, there's something in my throat. Oh, damn. I don't want to condone characters like Hero. I really don't. Something about them is just a bit scummy, a bit too scummy for me to condone. I do know the character coming after her, I believe at least. It's a bit of a big one, a bit of an important character. Hopefully they aren't as scummy. But it is a bit of a Mahoyo design, so we never know how it's going to go. We never know. Oh, wait, you can't move him, can you? When ignited, enemies on this floor take damage equal to 15% of their max HP per second. Wow! If only I had a way to ignite. I don't, but if only I did. Oh, we missed our cooldowns. Yeah. Repairdo. Ooh, I think I might have missed time that by a bit. But I'm interested for the uh, the new character, not Kira's, but the one after Kira. I'm interested in her playstyle. I'm keen to find out. Obviously, I think there'll be information somewhat soon about the character. Nothing too crazy. Wait, is everything dead? No, oh, everything's dead. I think it's like uh, this week or something like that. There should be some information on that character coming out moderately. Maybe, maybe soon, maybe not. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But I'm keen. They're a scythe lady. If that makes uh, makes it any easier for people to guess who it is. Uh, let's do the lightning stage first. Use our goaded Aponia team as per usual. Maybe. Oh, you know what? As well, this patch, if we keep on getting the battle pass, we'll be able to buy Mobius. Maybe we And we do think... Oh, do I have Mobius's weapon or do I have two of her stigma? I think I have two of her stigma. Ooh. If we had a weapon, we'd be able to make like a decent... Like a mech lightning team and then have uh, more stuff for another week. But I think I might have to just set up with a character. And like, I think I have a top maybe. 
Hmm, I can't remember exactly. But then again, oh, no, you, you can pull weapons as well, never mind. You can snag a weapon from there as well. Totally forgot. Weapons are... I can't remember, are they like... Oh no, I used the wrong ability. Were they 15 or 20? No, 12 or the other number? Mmm. Mm. Interesting. 2 of 5? God damn, these guys are tough. These guys are tough. I keep on doing that wrong. I'm not meant to use uh it's meant to be an on and off. You use her laser beam once and then you don't use it the next time, and then you use it the next time, and it's all altercating essentially. Because you don't have an, or I don't have enough SP regen to do it every single time. If I used up all of those um, SP on field generation card thingies on Truth, maybe that would have been a bit better, but I used them on Senti. Because my Senti, for some reason, having a few SP problems recently. Especially felt it on the uh, the recent Abyss with the uh, the Hair Week. For some reason, Senti is just struggling with that SP bullshit. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. Stay clear of monsters for 20 seconds? Oh god. I don't think I meant to kill these ones. Thank you. Alright, do we have SP? Yes, we do. There we go. Yeah, Senti is having an SP issues. Do you know who doesn't have SP issues, though? Goddamn Prometheus. Goddamn Prometheus. I don't think I've ever encountered an SP issue in my whole time using her for the past whole patch. It's kind of ridiculous how... Just how good it is, the SP region. And it's kind of predictable. Every part of her kit has, like, some form of SP give. And almost every time that you switch in to a into a Prometheus, she has about maxed out SP. It's kind of kind of crazy. I only ever thought that kind of SP level were obtainable in goddamn Elysian realm, or at least that level of region. Hey Ben, do you still play PGR? Hey, welcome to the stream, Frank. Uh, no, I don't. No, I do not. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depends on perspective. I do not play the game anymore. I do have it installed, but I, um, I do not play it, no. For no real reason, for no real reason. Mainly, um, the only reason I would ever come up with is, um, the fact that there are other games that I'm a bit more interested in than PGR. Because PGR has obviously been out for a very long time, and, uh, I'm not a massive fan of coming into games as they are, like, about six or seven years, or however many years they're into their lifetime, right, three or four years. Honkai is very much a big exception to that, but, yeah. Other games were coming out at the time, and I got a bit more excited about other games other than PGR, because PGR has a lot of systems to take into consideration, and a lot of, uh, a lot of things to understand that are very much, um, over, over, over bloating for my, uh, my patience at the time. Having to learn about 80 different systems all at once instead of being introduced to them slowly. Uh, but that's probably the only, like, um, logical reason I can give you. But no, I do not play the game. But I do kind of follow, um, uh, is it Rexlent? I do follow him on Twitter a bit, um, and I see, like, what posts are happening about PGR, so I'm not too out of the loop apart from, I just know, like, what characters look like sometimes. But that's the extent of my, uh, engagement with PGR. I mean, PJ is still younger than Honko. Um, though, when is the next Ether Gazer? Uh, when is the next Ether Gazer? What? Yeah, technically, PGR is younger than Honko, but Honko, again, as, as I said, it's an exception as um, I started playing it when I didn't have a lot of things to do. Uh, but as for when is the next Ether Gazer, what do you mean by that? 
Like, when is the next Ether Gazer patch? I have no idea. I think it's about two weeks from now. That was a bit unlucky. I mean, stream. Ooh. Um, probably the next time there's a lot of things to do. Uh, probably the next time there's a, a lot of things to do in Ether Gazer. Uh, we, we played it on Sunday. We got a lot of the stuff done on Sunday. I can probably... We'll probably be the next Sunday as well. As, um... Oh, God. As a lot of the things to happen with the weekly reset that I enjoy doing in, P uh, in Ether Gazer, sorry, is, uh, which is like the recurring dreams and whatnot. Uh, very much all reset kind of or fully are available near the end of the week. Uh, and so probably Sundays are going to be like something like Ether Gazer days. Because I very much do not enjoy doing a few of the systems in the game. Oh, God. Uh, like the, uh, the dimensional variable. I can't remember its full name. I'm, I'm not ma a massive fan of doing that system. Uh, so I don't really like grinding it. Okay. And yeah, the recurring dream resets on Sundays or is fully available on Sundays. And I also think this Sunday there'll be a lot of things available. Uh, mainly the... I think will be a bit higher level, so I think we may be close to 70, which will also unlock the last few... Um, uh, the last few tiers of past grudges, which will be fun to do. As well as new level thresholds, as well as... Just new tiers of everything, really. New difficulty tiers for everything. Okay. I'm leveling up a few characters on the side. I think I've started leveling up Hodor. Regardless of how good she is, I kind of like her playstyle, so I've started leveling up Hodor. Uh, over Shu. I've chosen her over Shu for a multitude of reasons. Uh, I think I just enjoy ranged units in this game a lot more. I think there's something really, um, really odd about a melee unit in Ether Gazer. Ma mainly, it's mainly on a. Possibly, sorry, possibly it's because of PC client and whatnot, or PC general gameplay. There's something odd about not being able to control your camera vertically. You can only really do horizontal um, control of camera in Ether Gazer, which is a bit. It's a bit difficult to get used to when a lot of other games give you full vertical control regardless of um, style of combat. Mm -hmm. okay. And I think also on Sunday there'll be that new event available. There's like some other like last part of the event that is currently happening, the, uh, the Osiris event. It'll be kind of cool to follow that as well. Or finish that game mode. Wrong button. Oh, I'm an idiot. That was the wrong button. Mm. Wow, doing a lot less damage than I expected. Doing a lot less damage than I expected. I, I, I for some reason, was expecting a lot... A lot more damage than this. Not sure why exactly. I guess she's not burning. Oh, I messed up everything. Oh, I messed up everything. Oh no. The whole combo is messed up. 
Mm. I haven't done this fine that often, Jesus Christ. Bit of a tough one. Maybe you need Ichon. Maybe that 45% damage taken is super important. Now should be burning. Oh yeah, you need to ignite this bitch. What the fuck? What the fuck? You need to ignite that idiot. What the hell? That's incredible. If only I had an eye charm now. Wow. Wow. That was... What the fuck, dude? I don't know that 45% meant, like, tripling your damage. What the fuck? actual fuck i had no idea that 40 percent is what does it say again what does it say what that's the wrong button 40 percent enemies take 40 percent more damage when ignited and ignited damage increases by four it's only 40 percent it just feels like my damage like tripled what the actual hell well we um placed fourth oh that's really unlucky um, maybe if I just put on an igniter, but then the triple Hersha team kind of, unless I have a good ignite character, there's no point in it, right? There's no point in it if it's not a good ignite character, and Ichan is just not, am I collar the wrong way around? No, it's not. Ichan is just not functional right now in this, um, in this climate. So I think we're going to have to omit that, which is unfortunate as hell, dude. Oh. Anyway, we're very close to our roll. Watch this. Do we have a... Um, can I claim any... Any jemmies anywhere? Or do I have to literally go to do the Spiral Abyss? No, I can't. We're 10... <laughs> Hold up, wait up, wait up, wait up. We are... Bro, alright, listen here. Bro, I don't know why my ad blocker on just YouTube just does not work anymore. Just, like, what's happening on YouTube? I don't want to have to make a playlist. I really don't want to. I just want to be able to watch and listen to music. Chill like, you know what I mean? Get some flame sucky Tama things. <sighs> Dorm? I remember I have an hour and 35 minutes. Oh. We have to do the Spiral Abyss. Uh, the, what, what's it called again? Elysian Realm. We have to do the Elysian Realm to get another roll. God damn it. God, that's the last thing I wanted to do was the Elysian Realm, actually. Maybe I have some cheeky gems I can get from the, uh, this one. Cheeky gem, cheeky gem. Anything in here? No, I've bought the whole shop out. God damn it. <sighs> what's up, Mr. Ben? Hey, what's up, kids? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a great day, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for stopping by. How is your, uh, how's your day been, dude? How's your day been? Oh, we can, I guess we can buy all this stuff. Quickly buy out the whole shop, I guess, right? That's a good strategy to do. Just buy out everything. Okay. Maybe I can buy gems. Now that would be cool. Okay, we need to buy all of our Sushang fragments. All of our, all of them. Sushang is the only character I'm buying, as well as Elysia. I'm buying Elysia just because having another type of Fizz, right? And then over here, we need to buy all of our Prom fragments. Does not even put her at the uh, S3. So that's a bit unfortunate, but we're very close, very close. I believe it's Alicia. And we get Alicia up to uh, double S1, which unlocks on hit, charge attacks, boost physical damage by 15 instead of 11. Okay, nice bonus. Cool. Cool. Nice. Uh, I'm still surprised I'm going to get stuck on you. A few people I know prefer AG and some PGR because the battle mechanic more challenging and not as brain dead. Um, yeah, that's, well, Hongo back stuck with me because I've just played it for a while now and I'm kind of invested, right? I'm kind of invested. It's not so much of a thing that I'm enjoying the game, but it's much more that I'm invested in the game and I'm kind of here for a few other factors other than just the gameplay. I like the characters, I like the world. Oh, that's a trial character. Um, I'm kind of invested in the game more so than, um, than, um, than I'm kind of enjoying it per se, but that's like a different perspective, but that's probably why. PGR... 
Uh, it, to be to give you a bit more clarification, PGR, we only had a week to play it before Ether Gazer came out because I was definitely not going to be playing Ether Gazer and PGR at the same time and trying to follow both stories. So I was like, you know what, PGR is a bit more of my lesser preferred one because it's older. So I, I just stuck with AG more. Um, good. Uh, to my only goal when I got back home now is to continue the Archon quest. Something about the treasure hoarder from Monsad and Leeway combine or something? Uh, Genshin or something? Um, my goal when I go back home is to continue the Archon quest. Well, Archon quest, okay, fair enough, power to you. Well, good luck with the Archon quest. Depends on which one you're on. Treasure hoarders from something in Monsad and Leeway. Hmm. Is that an Archon quest? Or is that an event quest? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm thinking of an event quest, I can't remember. Well, anyway, have fun enjoying that, uh, that quest. Have fun with it. Uh, they are very enjoyable quests, obviously, if you take your time to, uh, enjoy them. Oh, we had a reset? What? What? Wait, why is this happening? This wasn't meant to happen yet. What, right? Was this meant to happen yet? It only happened, like, one rate. I guess it... Hmm, I wasn't expecting this, okay. But not all of them have been changed, or some of them... Okay. And so the old one, all the enemies take 30% less. Now it's changed to uh, the last wave of enemies in an elite stage consists of buyer type elites with silver shield. If the shield is, uh, stage is not completed uh, within 80 seconds, enemies will subsequently gain 10% total damage reduction. Does not apply to Shroud difficulty and below. What the fuck? That's kind of crazy. Gold and Helix. You know what? That's fair. I'm going to run Gold and Helix on hair with her build. Uh, Ganyu and Lan uh, got that after clearing Dane's leave quest. Ganyu and Lan. Who's Lan? Nice, got Ganyu. Very congr congrats on that one. But Lan? Who's that? Lan, Lan, Lan. Hmm. To be quite fair, I've not been in the flow of Genshin stuff that isn't the Archon quest. But maybe that is an Archon quest. I just can't remember. Is that, a, that must be an old quest. I've fucking forgotten it. God oh, damn. I've forgotten that quest, maybe. Unfortunate, my apologies. But hey, if you're enjoying it, power to you, buddy. I, I think the Genshin quests are very much enjoyable as well. Um Ooh, okay. Okay, here we go. This is maybe where it gets a bit tough. This last buff here, let's change this to finality. Obviously, we're gonna do it on finality, at least attempt it. So we have uh Deer Man and Hodo. We want to set it to Hodo because we're doing this with uh hair. Uh, deploy a who uses fist, javelin, chakram, or pistols. Gain elemental reach at 50% physical. So we can chuck that on right there. That's immediate power. So just if they're deployed. And the enemies that are hit by ultimates or burst mode attacks from a current or support Valkyrie take 20% more total damage for 10 seconds. I think I want to do this one. And I'm going to... Ooh, but I don't like doing that build for a uh, hair. I really don't enjoy doing that build. Oh, but it says ultimate, and that her thing counts as an ultimate damage, so that actually is fine for me. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do here, and we're gonna switch this to we're gonna go for Eden first. I think that'll be kind of fun. Well, yeah, I think it'll be kind of fun to go for Eden first. You know, usually people would, I think would go for um for for Helix first straight away, but I'm gonna go for gold. I'm gonna go for gold. Uh, Lan, NPC beside Catherine. Oh, you know, absolutely right. I totally forgot about it. Uh, it is Aldo. Uh, I just got to see anyone drop Jade Chamber on the dragon. Ah, uh, yep, I know exactly where you're at now. Okay, I've got it. Mental image is completed. I see where you're at. I still don't quite understand why Zhongli willingly gave his Gnosis to the Fatui. I think... Uh, I'll try to clarify it, but I don't understand it fully either because I don't really... I don't care about that super deep knowledge. I just know that he did it, right? But my understanding of it is this way. This is my thought process, my head cannon, if you will. Is oh, hold on, let me, let me just like absolutely turn this ad off because I love YouTube. Um, but my head cannon is that he gave it away because he does not want to be involved uh, directly in the um, in the the, the the comings of the future. But he also knows to a certain extent that the person who actually is going to gain his gnosis isn't actually a villain. That's my head cannon. And as we can assume, the, the person who's gaining the Gnosis is the, the Tsuritsa, right? To not get too lore heavy, um, that's the, who's getting the Gnosis. And I, I have a suspicion that she's not actually evil. She has no ill intention, but she's just doing things in a very uh, 
could be perceived evil way by just stealing the Gnosis's and sending out the Harbingers to do things. Um, or potentially, another one, is that the Harbingers themselves are manipulating the Tsaritsa and painting everything in the idea of the Tsaritsa when the actual Harbingers are the evil characters. Because there's a lot of information to go about, and I don't want to spoil anything too crazy, uh, because oh, I haven't really mentioned anything that could be spoiler, but there, there's a few headcanons and a few theories that I think as well, but um, for the most part, he just gave it away because he doesn't want to be involved anymore in the the forefront of Leeway's business. He wants to just let Leeway be Leeway and, and move on and carry on by themselves. But then again, he does still involve himself a bit, to be quite fair. I feel like it's really hard to pinpoint the exact message because he still involves himself a fair bit. It's kind of odd. Um, uh, but physical basically has javelin throw, deals 40 damage, assemblage. Okay, this one. We want 1,000 thoughts. And then we're going to go for full gold. Full gold. Full gold, a hair build. I think it's going to work. We have a lot of SP regen. And I think if we go for full gold, we'll be able to maintain... Um, Maintain high SP the whole way through. But this character is a patience character. You have to do the combo very precisely. You can't click a button at the wrong time or you'll mess up the combo. And sometimes you have to use the sucking part of the combo to make sure the enemies don't move apart. There we go, 45 seconds. I think I'm liking Signora more, even though the only time I see her is when she stole Venti Gnosis and when uh, Zhongli gave Gnosis Law. She's an enjoyable character. Look forward to the future. She's much more prevalent in... Um... What a weird wording. Um, she's much more prevalent in Azuma. Um, she becomes a bit more of a, a character. But yeah, she's a, she's a, she's interesting. I'll say that, yeah. She's interesting. An absolute character. And that is all, I will say. She is a character. I won't say that she's my favorite Harbinger, but she's definitely uh, not my least favorite. Least favorite goes to Mr. Scaramouche himself. Scaramouche. Absolutely nothing likable about that man. Nothing likable. Man could trip over and I would laugh. Can't stand him. Him and his broad hat. Pompous attitude. Um, more SP can be restored. 80 SP max increase. Uh, the higher the SP... Um, the more damage. I think I want to go for more damage and then we'll go for restoration. It's decimation. Ooh, I need the Eden here. Ooh, there's the gold. There's the helix. Eden, please. I think we go for full Eden top. I think it is Eden 1. That we 100% go for. Do that. Group them up. Chuck them in. Whack them up. Oh my god, these guys have got a shield. Oh, I did say that these guys are going to have a juiced out shield, didn't it? I totally forgot. But once the shield's gone... Do they start taking mega damage? They do. Okay. Hmm, a bit tough though. Yeah, a bit tough still. <clears throat> I mean, Chad himself is not as bad as people tell me about Fatui. Uh, well, uh, the Golden House is one thing. Yeah. Well, Child is... Child is, um... Because he's the... Like, I don't want to spoil about one of them. 
But seeing as Child is one of the two playable characters, Child is obviously not as evil as we may believe he is. Whilst, uh, to my suspicion, uh, let's go for initial SP and max SP potential. Uh, my suspicion is that any Harbinger that isn't playable, which I hope there's, I, don't, I hope a lot of them aren't playable, uh, but for every Harbinger that isn't playable, um, they they are the like the purely evil ones, right? They are the the the, the villains. They are the ones that you don't want to mess with. They are the the actual like the Joker essentially, right? Of uh, Genshin Impact, the Joker. They only are here to be a villain. Whilst the ones that end up playable have like a good side, right? It's gonna have that kind of connotation. The ones that are playable have some sort of like like protagonist uh, potential. Uh, I'm a good guy kind of a motive. Which I, I just hope not a lot of them are playable. That's just my perspective, right? I have a, a, a weird kind of thing about making villains playable, like, and then, because usually if you take Genshin's context into consideration, um, when a character is playable in Genshin, it means that they are cordial with the main character, right? It means that you have, like, some sort of uh, positive association with the main character. And I just, like, I feel like if they're a villain, like a villain villain, like Dottore, which I don't, I'm not sure if, if you've seen him too much in the game. I don't believe he appears too much before, um, before Sumeru. But he's a, a maniacally evil character. But, you know, if he was playable, then that means that you're cordial with this crazy guy. And so, story-wise, it could be a bit of a, a bit of a hit or miss for me. But I think he will end up being playable because people, uh, want him to be playable. Weapon active makes enemies take more damage. I'll take that, but I'll also take um, Snake Woman. Do that. Is that the bad thing? Because I still see Senora isn't playable. Senora is not playable. Senora is not playable. What what do you do with that information? If you think that she uh, is maniacally evil, or if you think she's a positive guy, I'll let you find out that whilst you do the story, because I don't want to spoil the story. Um, but she's not. She's not playable. She's not playable. Um, okay. Let's go to gold. Right. I, I don't want to spoil anything about Senora because she's quite prominent in, in Azuma. She's quite a prominent character. But that's just kind of like, I guess that's my headcanon as well, is that I wouldn't want to see it that way. Whatever I'm saying right now is most likely not actually true because I don't have any actual like facts or information to back it up. But it's just kind of like how I would structure the game is that if the character is chronically evil, I wouldn't make them playable because it doesn't make sense for them to befriend the main character. It doesn't make much sense to just make the, the chronically evil character best friends with the MC. But that's just my way of making it. Uh, my way of thinking about the game is vastly different from Mahoyo, so they might make it a, a certain way, they might make it another one. Most of the ways that I generally want the game to be structured aren't the way that the game actually is structured, so, you know. Do, the, do with that what you will. Uh, intoxicated enemies take 18% more total damage, can stack up at three times, so good single target. Um, if lightning bot hits the same target, or trigger symphony. Yep, that one. And then more gold. Gold, gold, gold. I do want to get all of the gold, though, I think. Okay, kill time is slower than with um, Mobius, but not by a lot actually. Eden, we're running into SP issues now though. I thought the SP gain would have been enough, but I guess, uh, I guess not. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. But I don't have the SP per second one. For every Intoxia Emmy. Every hit on the Autoxid enemy, 1.2 SP is restored. Um, if I can now get that SP per second, maybe an Eden Door here. There is one, okay. This is the last Eden Door we take. We just get the SP per second, 
but that means we're getting a lot of SP now. We should never be in a deficit. I don't believe at least. I hope. That is my prayer, please. That is my prayer to not have SP issues, please! We're doing a lot of damage though, 1 point something million per hit, but then this augmented man over here... Kinda joshing me around. Suck them up, do that one. The thing I hope uh, uh, about doing the Icon Quest moving forward is not doing other people uh, chores, like the one I did in Leeway, getting stuff and it all feels unnecessary. I, I like it when they're a law. Uh, not the state of Leeway and more as economy, detail about some other NPC and others. Yeah. Well, that's what I think everyone wants. People want more lore than they want to do, like, want to do side content, right? That's like, especially when you're doing a main story. Like, that, you share the same opinion as a lot of people that find a problem with, um, Leeway and, um, and, and Mondstadt, usually. They kind of have that aspect. I'm not going to tell you, I, I guess I will tell you that it doesn't fully disappear, but if I'm trying to remember 100% about the law that happens in like let's say the future zones i wouldn't say you kind of sit around doing chores i wouldn't i wouldn't word it exactly like that but you definitely do a f you do a few things that may feel irrelevant but they're definitely not irrelevant is a uh, is the only thing i'll say it feels irrelevant but it's not irrelevant in my opinion but i think it's all a matter of perspective as well all right i think it's all a, a large matter of perspective uh, we need to change you out for uh, BKE because Heimdall is an absolute bungus. Infinity, I think we'll go for Infinity. At least get the Infinity Enhancement and then we'll um, set all these to Fuhua really quickly. Uh, not Fuhua, sorry, the other one. Um, Helix. Do that. Can't, I've got no money. Yeah, I, I think it's all a matter of perspective, but I found uh, Inazuma and Sumeru to be a lot more engaging than Leeway. But then again, I did do Leeway and Mondstadt three years ago. So, again, my maybe my um, take on that is a bit skewed because I did it very, very long ago, right? I can't I can't say for certain I remember everything. But then again, I also did Inazuma about a year and a half ago now, so... It's kind of hard for me to recall every minor detail that may have happened, so... Maybe take everything I say with a grain of salt. That is my, uh, my tip of the day, is take everything I'm saying right now with a massive grain of salt. Damn, these enemies. Okay. 23 sec- Okay, we're good. I thought they were going to take a lot less damage. How much damage? We're doing about 20, uh, 2, 2 million rather, not 20 million. Is that a 1.3 million? Yeah, 1.3 million. Okay, not, not too crazy. But I think that was unbuffed. Unbuffed. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, you now can give me enemies take more damage. Thank you. And you can give me SP of the of that thing. Sure, why not? More healing, I guess. And then we're gonna go for the bottom one because it's slightly better for us. I thought when I unlocked the red teapot, I can plant the plants from the zoom and zoom region so that I can uh, get my character ascend. There are some plants, but not my what my characters need. The plant system is, I unfortunately have to tell you, cares not good in any way. Uh, the farming system that Mahoyo tried to implement is just not, not good. It is unfortunately really bad. I also, when they first announced it uh, ages ago, I was of the impression that they were going to make it like this very in-depth kind of like uh, Stardew Valley, like you can farm anything and anywhere and whatnot, kind of like farming simulator kind of thing. It's not. It's very far from that. It, 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 it's really just nowhere near how, um, I think a lot of players would have liked it. I think the large majority of players would like a, a free form farm, whatever you want to farm kind of system. But Mahoyo, in fact, gave us a very much a structured, minimalistic farming system that nobody really enjoys. So yeah, it's an unfortunate thing. No. 
Yep. That's enjoyable. Now, nobody questioned me about what's happening on the screen because I also do not know. I'm just pressing buttons in hope that it does something. And so far... Um, this cyclone is proving to be the worst part about this. Not even Heimdall. Not even Heimdall is the worst part about that. It's just the cyclone unit. Incredible. Incredible game. Love it. No worries, Vili. Cheers. Um, the range damage. I think it is... No, it's is it classified as ranged? Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know. Don't know if it's classified as ranged. We'll go with Magic 3. The, uh, the farming system is one thing that I did talk about a lot when it did release to be reworked immediately. And it's still one of the few things that I believe should be, like, hard reworked very soon. <laughs> Because uh, here's the thing, the, the teapot system, I've talked about it ages and I've kind of given up on it as a system because uh, people don't use it as like a practical system anymore. It's pure decoration right now in a lot of people's um, play playtimes. People just use it to decorate the area, have a nice little cool area to go to and whatnot. People don't actually use it for practicality. You get about 60 resin per week, which is a nice thing to use it for, but other than that, absolutely useless system. It's kind of... Yeah, it just doesn't feel right but it's it's not going to change like the teapot system has only ever had a uh, visual updates throughout all the patches right it's only have had uh, have had uh, visually appealing things added like furnitures and whatnot new areas even though there's not a new area for sumeru it seems they really did forget about the teapot system because there's no new sumeru area that's really unfortunate as well at least i don't believe so maybe i'm also tripping i'm not sure but yeah, they 100% they forgot about it. It's a forgotten system. Much like a lot of things in Genshin, a forgotten system, never to return. Or at least probably won't return. I won't say never, right? Never say never, but probably won't return. As like a core part of anything. Unless they fully want to rework the game and kind of make it a little bit more single player where they can actually make that a bit more of a... Like a... Um, because they definitely could, if they, the game was single player to an extent, obviously, right? Single player in the sense of you play locally and whatnot. They could make the, let's go by this. Um, they could make the teapot system like a, a your own kingdom kind of style thing. Where you go in there and everything that happens is like yours. And you are kind of like the owner of this town and like a mayor if you want. Um, it's kind of like your own civilization in there. I, I feel like they could definitely do something like that. But I just don't believe they will, like. I feel like the, the ship has sailed. Uh, still love that one. And then let's go this one. The ship has sailed on that. And I think a lot of people have just kind of lost interest in the teapot. Nobody really revisits the teapot anymore. The same way that people don't really revisit the, um, the, the card game. People come back for the card game maybe if there's a new card that's interesting. But they play it for about maybe a day or two and then they leave, right? I think it's the same thing there. I didn't switch off of BKE, god damn it. I'll try to save Astro Logos here for um the last phase, yeah. Because this is going to be a bit of a tough one. Oh no way, though the bio. Never mind. I lied. There we go. Nice. 
Um, so basically, Serenity, but it's just quarter system, like uh, what I can have in another MMORPG, purely decoration. Exactly, it's purely decoration. You can get very small bonuses, like again, the like you can get uh, 60 resin per week. You can buy uh, level up materials for your characters. Uh, you can buy some level up material for your artifacts. But it's very minimalistic in what you can actually gain daily. The daily gain is like... What, what, actually, there's no real daily gain. It's all weekly stuff. So it, it's not something that you'll be revisiting. And I actually stopped visiting it. As soon as the Battle Pass challenges are over, I stop visiting the teapot. I don't actually go to the teapot anymore. During the Battle Pass, whilst it's active and all the challenges are active, I go to it day, like weekly to get my stuff. But as soon as the Battle Pass is done, I don't visit it anymore. Our Valkyrie deals 30% more physical damage. Yes. It's just, um, it, it, it's it's mainly just because it's weird to get to and all of that stuff. There's a lot of factors why it's weird and I don't, I don't really enjoy it. Um, Magic Marvelous deals 100% bonus damage to shields and every cast of it, it, it's total damage by 7%. Okay. Fair enough. I would say it just needs a lot more, like, general content every patch and a lot of quality of life and whatnot. Quality of life is the big one. Purely decoration. But the thing is, you can do a lot of good stuff in there. Like, it's very good decoration, but that's all it is. I guess I should really clarify that. It's 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 very good decoration, but that's all it is. Now, which one do I want to use here? Do I actually want to... I think I want to stick with... um. Is it this one? If the enemies are hit by the weapon active, they take 20% bonus physical damage for 6 seconds. Yes, that one. More, more damage. Um... I can probably buy some of you. Maybe I can try to reset for a physical. Elemental. Elemental, physical, physical. Red Hot. Red Hot's fine. Alright, cool. Anyway, we're doing Hodo. This is kind of like an easy clear. Doesn't matter. This does not matter at all. We're just here for the 500 gems and then we're pretty much done with our stuff for Honkai. Nice Hodo, good job. Good attempt at trying to kill me, but didn't quite work there, buddy. 30 second Hodo fight, that's kind of crazy. A 30 second Hodo fight. Alright, we did a Ponya last week, we're gonna try Vil V. Because Vil V is the... Uh, the e it is the easiest fight in this whole mechanic, so or this whole system. So we're gonna see how fast we can. Um... That is the wrong door. I'm not sure why you switched to that, but. Bro, this fight was almost as fast as Hodo. <laughs> oh, that's miserable. That's a miserable fight. Wow. That's that's incredible. Uh, so I have my 20 more pulls before pity. I lost my 50-50 on special banner and get Mona. As a new Genshin player, should I believe that Yula banner will have a rerun next patch? This is the toughest question I've ever had to answer. Will Will a Eula banner have a rerun next patch? This is the toughest thing I've had to think about. It's just not known. But if there is any amount of consolation, right? If it's any amount of consolation, is that next patch is a pure rerun patch, right? Uh, 3.8 is pure rerun. The reason I know this is because usually before... Um, the current patch would have launched, they announced new characters on their Instagram and Twitter. Before that, that when that was supposed to happen, no new characters were announced. So 3.8 is purely rerun, so that means four rerun banners. Two first phase, two second phase, right? So, in, in my brain, th surely it has to happen because Eula has not had a rerun in a long time. So, for me, I believe that there will. 
But at this point, because of how long a Eula rerun hasn't been a thing, I don't know. I am so sorry. It's such a hard thing to gauge with Mahoyo, especially in Genshin Impact, is when a rerun will happen. Because there's just not, not anything to do. Uh, but unless you are purely... Um, unless you're trying to go for, like, let's say, Yaya Miko, Yoimiya, or one of their weapons, depending on the, if you're said characters, rather. So unless you're trying to get for one of them, wait until a bit further into the current patch. That's my tip for you right now. Don't pull on Kazuha or Al Haytham straight away. Just give it a few days. Give it maybe a week until, like, into their banner. And there'll be a lot more information on um on who's coming into the next patch. If anything, you can also wait until the um the special program, right? You can wait until the special program because that also happens during the patch, and so you'll be able to find out a lot of information then. So give it a bit of time, wait a few, and then you'll be able to have a lot of solid information if Yule is happening next patch. But my belief is that if she doesn't, they've forgotten about the character, right? If she, if she doesn't get a rerun next patch, they've just forgotten about her. Okay. Here it is. Here it is. Sorry, I'm just going to go into rolling mode. We need, we need a Alexandra middle, right? Alexandra M, right here. Right here. Alexandra M. We got three rolls until we guaranteed uh, something. 43 until we guaranteed her. Now, I've gotten extremely unlucky on this weapon banner, and it's been absolutely miserable for me. I I'm not a massive fan of, of, uh, of, of Alexandra, mainly because it's taken me a while to get her, but here we go. I pray for just something. Alexandra Middle being that something, please. Ooh, that's not quite it. That's not quite it, Mahoyo. I'm not looking for Ogier Middle. I'm looking for Alexandra. Alexandra. Xandra, right? Here it is. Here it is. Alexandra Middle, welcome to the team. Welcome to the team. They have to really leave it at, at the hard pity, don't they? They have to really leave it at the hard pity, don't they? Like, really, Mahoyo? Do you really have to do this? And now I don't even have it enough for a roll now. I have to wait until the reset of Abyss in two minutes. Or not Abyss, rather, the, uh, the Memorial Arena. I have to wait two more minutes, and then we can do our last roll to see if I'm getting Alexandra full set, or if I'm not getting Alexandra full set. I just can't stand this. It's, it's, uh, the stress is getting to me. I'm... I'm having heart palpitations. Something's happening. We haven't even done the Nibel Trungan lead uh, trial. What is this thing? A fan art contest? What the hell? All right. Uh, we are just going to wait for uh, Memorial Arena, though, to, to wrap up. It's going to finalize in just a second. Here. But, damn, I'm going to have to reattempt the Abyss as well. We didn't place very well here. We did not place very well. Actually, I'll get, I'll get, I'll get these ones here. Maybe I'll be able to get it if I don't get it now right, after that. War Treasury. Uh, are we looking for anything specific here? I don't think so either. Have I bought everything from the shops? I haven't done my resets of my um, my, my exchange shop though. Hold up. Maybe we can get some in here. Um, who would I have been looking for? Who would I have been looking for? I think I'm looking for a weapon. Let me just double check. Can I... What weapons are available? Do I have... No, I was hoping that Fallen Rosemary's Scythe was available here. Or maybe did I miss it? Hold up, the Scythe's aren't in order. Did I miss it? Gun, sword, gun, sword, gun, sword. Gun, sword. Yeah, no, it's not. Unfortunate. What is this? Oh, that looks cool. Who's this best on? No. I have been stupid and try uh, thinning out my PDO for my character banner instead of pulling for Alexandra. All of that because I want to clear the spending event. The, the spending event is pretty good though. Like there are a fair few good things that you can get here. It's uh, it's it's not a bad one. It's not a bad one. Um, oh, what do I? What would I want to get? I think I want to try to get these for when I need to do something. Well, maybe the maybe the weapons aren't even what I want. Mm, yeah, maybe the weapons aren't even it. Has the reset occurred? There it is. Oh, we get 50 here. Oh, then we get 50 here or 60 or whatever. Oh, okay, never mind. Here we go. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Okay. Okay. 
The moment of truth. The moment of truth. If we don't get it here, and then it, my whole life is for naught. For naught. Alexandra, I ask you one thing. I enjoyed you in the story. Let me enjoy you as a stigmata. Here it is. Come on. Come on. Moment of silence. Moment of silence. Bastet. More like bastard. <laughs> True. I think I already have that one though. I think the really unfortunate thing is that I think I have Bastet bottom. I have another Bastet, and I think that's the part that's gonna. Because I don't mind actually getting Bastet, to be quite fair. Listen, I'm not gonna actually make it thing, uh, sound like it's a really bad one, but I think I already have Bastet bottom. Or was it middle? Yeah, I think I already. I think I have duplicate Bastet bottom, and that's just. That's the part that really. Really annoys me. Oh. It could not have went worse. I got a dupe and I didn't get what I wanted. It could not have went worse. That is the worst anything ever could have went. I'm just not happy about this right now. I'm just not really having a good time. Honkai Impact, you've, you've done fucked me for the last time. For this... I will be doing your memorial arena with the- Oh, not a pony again. Oh, no, she's really annoying. No, no. Shit. She's really annoying, actually. Or was it the Abyss version? I'm not exactly sure which version of her is annoying, but I hate this boss. I don't know what's happening. And I just don't think it's a good boss. I don't know what's happening, but... Hey, we've got to give it a try, right? We've got to give it a try. Um, obviously we're going to do it with, uh, the, the, the God Squad. Oh, but imagine if we got the piece. This team would be so decked out. I would have had full set here, full set set D, full set Prometheus, and I would have been able to score really well! Ah! This is not, this is not epic. Alright, who gives SP? Do you give SP? Team deals that much and has, uh... 22% more, or 22.5, initial SP increases by another 22 if there is another imaginary character. Uh, I don't really care for that. Uh, we'll put it like that. But we need the initial SP because it's goddamn Memorial Arena. Memorial Arena. Uh, yeah, I don't like this fight though. There's something about this fight that doesn't quite work for me. Like, I don't, what am I doing here? What's happening? I'm locked in place. I'm dreaming. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You have to like dodge, hit, dodge. I don't fucking know what the fuck happens. Just let me fight a boss, dude. Let me just swing at something. God damn it. What a shiba. Oh, 
Okay. Here it is, here it is. Massive damage incoming. Mugen train! Mugen. Owarigakuru. What the fuck? Owarigakuru. I will chuck that on. Chuck, you know what? It's gone really badly, but bro, she's got like the constant pushback. It's a bit annoying. I don't know if you know this, know this Mahoya, but it's really annoying to be constantly pushed back. So with your crystal to play it out of existence, I assume you're gonna pull for Herschel Finality skin. I'll oh, probably not. I'm not too interested in um in them. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe I will. Chances are low, but probably not, no. I'm not too, uh... I, I got the Hershtra Trio team, but I'll be honest, they're kind of okay. They're just really powerful, right? That's really all they are. They're, I don't think they're interesting gameplay-wise. I'm kind of... It, it's a very cyclical game style. Very cyclical. And not, not to call it bad, but I think I've gotten... Because I, the cycle is really... Wait, what do I do? Do I just hit them or what? One second, I'll... I'll... I don't know what's happening. Sorry, I, I for some reason need to focus. I don't know what's happening. I'm very confused. I did it in the wrong order. No! No! Okay, well, senti buff, we're off. Have a go now, see ya. I cares, really appreciate it. Stop by, man. Really appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next stream, dude. Catch you around, man. Okay. Yep, having a good time. Having a good time. There goes the Prometheus buff. That's not really a core buff. I know it's a good buff, but it's not a core buff. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Yep, that remorse mechanic's really cool. I like that remorse mechanic. It feels really cool to just, uh... There should be better ways to manage it. 
apart from uh, just figure it out. Like, as soon as you switch off a character, that should be like the, uh, the reset functor of it. At least that makes sense to me. Then again, this fight has already been going on for a while, so we'll just, uh... There's no chance we're getting any kind of respectable time on this. We're not getting... 45,000! That's like 2,000 below average. Or 2,000 below my wanted. I just don't think I like the boss fight. I don't really get it. I don't really get it. Like, the remorse mechanic is kind of like... It, 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 I feel like it's an attempt at something similar to the taint mechanic from imaginary bosses. But not as good or enjoyable or fun. I think, at least. At least for me. Just, uh, it's, it's, an, it's an attempt at that. But just doesn't work. At least, if for me. Because at least the taint mechanic... I think as soon as you switch off the character, it goes away? Or something along those lines. It's just as soon as you do something, it like it fucks off. Plus, it doesn't it doesn't do that there. I don't know. If, so it just doesn't do that. Um. Okay. Buy my last tickets. Clearly, go hand in my um. Oh no. And then we're gonna start playing some HSR soon because we've got a lot of grind for HSR to do. Uh, attack. No, I want to. Yeah, attack. We want to do our. Where is it? The goddamn open world. Uh, go adventure task. Open. We always do Sakura Samsara because it's just the easiest one to do. Select. Goddamn. Do press that button. What is this? No, we can't listen to that. Can't be listening to that, unfortunately. Uh, get Prometheus Fragments. Yes, thank you. Prometheus. What I'm trying to get these days from this bad boy is just Prometheus Fragments or these uh, black things to buy Honkai Shards. But I only accept four of them. No. Probably could have gotten that XP. Susanna, I've kind of stopped getting Susanna. After getting hair, I don't really need Susanna anymore, I don't believe. Unless I really want a Quantum Week character, but even then... Not really... Not really too desperate for it. Not really too desperate for it. That's the bad one. Right, that's fine, I guess. And the last thing is... Okay, oh, five of them. Incredible. Okay. Yeah, we want to do HSR mainly tonight. We got level 60. We want to... We want to farm. Uh, the SU. We want to do the SU. I want to get all of them done. All of the juice. All of the fun. All of the sauce. Alright, grab those. And we're done and dusted. Unfortunately, no... No hair top. I think I'll get, I'll get a few more rolls before um, the official end of her banner. I think so, right? Let me just double check. She's got... Three days, I think I'll get at least a thousand gems in the next day from the Abyss ending and also the the daily login thingy. So we get at least a thousand-ish. Uh, but then that's really unfortunate that we didn't get uh, her there. I just have to get lucky within these next like three or four pulls that I'll get. I have to get really lucky. And as we know, I'm really lucky. Oh, I'm really lucky. I'm really just one of the luckiest players on the planet. Because that's definitely going to happen. I'm definitely going to get it as a lucky player. Because obviously the past um, three duplicates of her speeds that I've gotten, that's definitely goes to show how lucky I am. Um, that I can get three duplicates, right? Getting duplicates is a skill-based thing, by the way. Now, black screen, my apologies. Another Hoyoverse symbol appears. I right, SU. We're going to start from the bottom. We're going to start with Japard, Svarog, then Kafka, and then the big one, Kokolia. And throughout all of it, we're going to hope to get really good pieces of gear. We're just going to pray and hope to get really good pieces of gear. <clears throat> but I'm, I've only got one level uh, 80 character. My Jing Yuan is the only one that I've leveled up to 80. Because there's the only one that I have the, uh, the resources to do it with. And here it is. Jing Yuan. No, did, what did I say? Did I say Yan Jing? I meant Jing Yuan. Who knows? Who knows? He's the only one that's level 80. Level 80, traces are juiced out for the most part. Level 9, talent. Oh, it's looking spiffy. Jepard, prepare to meet your maker. Jepiard, prepare to meet your maker. Here we go. I think the estimated level, the recommended, is 80 or 75? I can't remember. What was it? Where is Jepard? World 3. 
we get what do we get space ceiling station oh a really good one actually space ceiling station is really good and uh, we get 200 xp 60 gems 76 recommended team level um i do have that ish 76 recommended we're gonna run that ting yun has to be on the team uh silver wolf because she's level 70 and then tank or maybe the healer because ooh, the, my character's gonna be dying a lot i think they're gonna be taking a bit of damage 75 overall across these bosses 81 on Japan. I think I may need survivability over potential DPS. Um, yeah, we're going to go Jin Yuan, Ting Yun, Natasha, and Trailblazer Fire for survivability. Yan, not yet. I keep on saying, trying to say Yan Ching. You'd go Elation just because uh, this guy, big Elation man. But Jin Yuan, I'm hoping he can carry with Ting Yun as support. 25 ele extra electro damage bonus. Go for a Curio. Action forwarding. The more turns I have, the better it is. Uh, physical. Wow. Found. And we're not going to be scarce with our techniques. We're not going to be scarce with them. A foregone conclusion. Oh my God. Here, thunder. Welcome, okay. Customers. You know, we don't one-shot them, yeah. but we do a pretty good amount of damage. We do 14,000... What the fuck? We do a pretty good amount of damage. Uh, follow-up attacks heal, thank you. And we're also going to go for... Um, breaking an enemy's weakness. Increase the max damage that can be absorbed by shields created by characters by 30%. Now, this one, generally I wouldn't go for preservation. But, you know, that's a 30% increase to the tr like Trailblazer shield. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good increase, so we're just going to go with it. Oh, but the enemy speed, because they are... Because they are up in level, the enemy speed is like high. Time for a shot. Lands at the red. I'm gonna see if just the Lightning Lord can kill this. Oh wow, not bad, not bad at all. Um, follow-up attacks increase defense or freeze enemies on turn one. We're gonna go with follow-up attacks increase defense, so my Jin Yuan can be a bit tankier. Uh, that would not be a bad thing at all. Um, but god damn, I had a... That freeze one would be good if I was, like, wanting to do a run on everyone Done. but Japard. But Japard is not Show too no freeze friendly. 16,000. One of those ones. Naughty child. Nap time. Because he has to point at me? No, wait. Wrong enemy. 35,000 damage. Yeah, you can... Oh, a level 80 Jing Yuan is kind of cracked. This is only with, like, three elation cards now. Oh, no, that was with two relation cards. Now we have three. Oh, he's going to be cooking. Jin Yuan's going to be cooking. Once we get full elation, we're going to be doing easy 300Ks. Easy. Full follow-up build. Oh, my God. A thousand wonders. <laughs> Fighters won! The Fighters won! <laughs> one of these ones. Ready? Show no Big mercy. one, right? Here it is. 25,000 damage. Not too bad. 25,000 damage never harmed anyone. Not a scratch. Ooh, that's a lot of damage for this guy. What the hell? Hmm. Nice teamwork. Shouldn't be a problem. Lightning Lord's got to come in with the big one. Ooh, 64,000. Oh, very nice. Crit rate of a uh, follow-up attacks is increased. Now that's not static crit rate. I need to get static crit rate on um on Jin Yuan to actually get the bonus from Inert Cell Soto. That's something I'm trying to figure out with my stats right now. I need like an extra 5%, I think, to actually make it work. Because I can get the last 10 for, to get over the 50 threshold from one of his uh, passive talents. Or passive traces. But I need to get some passive crit rate to make it actually function. Seize the moment. <laughs> Seize the moment. Oh, that guy is doing damage though. I ain't gonna lie. This man is hitting me. Lance of Blaze. Lance. This man is whacking me Boy. up. Mm hmm. Ooh, nice. Forty-six thousand. Barely had any stacks of it. Yeah, he's a cooked character. All right, what do we go for now? Um, I don't want any of these. Unfortunately, well, the energy one wouldn't be too bad. Characters have four more energy at the start of the turn. Could be good. Um, maybe I just want to reset though. Maybe full elation would be more. With, okay, twenty-six percent damage. We almost missed that. The weakness break efficiency is great, but 26% damage is a bit of a, a no-brainer, right? 
Alright, perfect first enemy. Perfect first elite. Cool! Start off with that. Show no mercy. Use Tingyun directly on this guy. Gets all the bonuses that we need. Opponent. Now, is this gonna speed up the Lightning Lord above Tingyun? No, it's not. And that there. That's gonna make him smack down on the 165,000 uh, damage. Very good. Maybe that was a bit overkill on using the elation thing, but hey, what are you gonna do? Eh? I'm on guard. There's no time to hear this thunder. To maybe not take more damage from him, Show maybe no we mercy. use one of these. Whack him up. 35,000. Once we get some aftertaste damage, dude, oh my god, it's gonna be saucy. Oh, and speak of the aftertaste damage, very good. It's not my preferred one, I prefer the other aftertaste damage card, but it'll do, it'll do, Donkey, it'll do. Uh, get more stuff when a character launches a follow-up attack. I think we want the frequency. Oh my god, elation! Oh my god, this run is going perfectly! And we get our oh, weakness break efficiency. This run is in fact probably the most perfect run that I've had so far. In my whole time doing this whole uh, simulated universe shenanigans. Instead of going for curios, we're just going to go for upgrading the cosmic things. That's the worst one I could have gotten. I'll get, I think I... Wow. Uh, just speak of the devil. When a character gains a shield, increase the max damage that can be absorbed by 35. So only a 5% increase, really? Mm, okay. It's not that good. I thought the upgrade would have put it at like 50% or something. I feel like a 50% increase is much better. But not too over... Or maybe it is overpowered if you take a Jepard or something like that in there. Alright, what do we take here? Character's action uh, advance forward. We do already have one advance forward thing. So if we go for another, we'll be advancing our action forward by like, what, 20%? Every, t every single time we end our turn. That doesn't sound too shabby, eh? It doesn't sound too shabby. Alright. But every time I ultimate, these guys are also going to be action forwarded. Which is not ideal. <laughs> Not ideal at all. Oh, is it a skill? It is it when they ultimate or when they skill? I didn't actually read the curio. I always thought it was ultimate. Um, elation uh, increases the speed by 16%. Don't mind if I do. Grab that. I commend. Was I seeing things? What? What the hell? Yeah. I want to have Lightning Lord be... Uh, as frequent as humanly possible. <laughs> Buff that. Oh god. Ow. Time for a shot. Ow. Nap time. There we go, Lightning Lord, carry it. Oh my god, 120,000? How many? That was like six stacks? I think like six or eight stacks, I can't remember. Wow, incredible. Reset that. We want to get. Oh, a bit unfortunate. A bit unfortunate. When entering battle, characters gain a shield that can absorb 36% of their HP difference between characters' max. Not really. I guess dot damage taken. That's the only universally okay one there. So, it should be right. Don't mess up me now, game. Don't mess me up now, please. Follow my charge. Follow my charge. Show no mercy. Come on. 44,000. Conflict is Welcome, customers. We don't want to have that shield there. Lance of Blaze. Oh, Lance. oh my God! We almost Forward. holy. A Japard is gonna one shot my team. I don't even think this is possible. Just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. A thousand. Japard is just gonna absolutely stomp on my team. It's this is gonna be a disrespectful fight. Naughty child. <laughs> yeah, buff him up all you want, buddy. But it's not gonna help against the Lightning Lord. It's not going to help you against the Lightning Lord himself. Okay. Energy regen increase. Ooh, try to get more of the elation things. Now we have that. Okay, cool. What is the very specifics of that curio? After a character uses a skill, their next action will be advanced forward by 25. And then during combat, action, characters' actions are advanced forward by 10 after they take action. So if after we use a skill, essentially Jing Yuan can like chain skills I almost. Commend. Almost at least very close to okay there's no time to lose here this thunder show no mercy 
He's the moment. I want to I want lightning bolt to kill him. I'm on guard. I want to see the the Lord's damage. Come on, Lord. Come on, Lord. Not bad, not bad. Pretty all right. Pretty all right. Okay. None of those, please. Ooh, the hunt crit damage. You know what? Not a bad one. I would have preferred the hunt crit rate just because I do need that extra bit of base crit rate, but it's uh, acceptable. Is he weak to physical? No, he's weak to lightning. Alright, it's, it's only scythe guy or chainsaw man. That's fine. Lance of Blaze. Lance. Add a shield to everyone Forward. else really quickly. Didn't even realize they didn't have shields. <laughs> Alright, but then we go in with this. Then we use Team Yun on Jing Yuan. That gives him nine stacks. Put that there. Give him the bonus. <laughs> the bonus should be pretty big. Should put that in there. Awesome Lightning Lord should absolutely pop off. <laughs> put this on this man. Lands at the he should then jump there, and then Lightning Lord comes in with the big Baba Booey, does a 219,000 damage with only one Aftertaste card. Doesn't quite break the shield, though. Uh, oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Better late than never. Whoa. Let's be friends. Jesus. Relax. Show no mercy. That was almost devastatingly devastating. Wait, how? Lightning Lord with ten stacks is slower than this robot to stand up. That's crazy. And maybe we have to taunt with this man. You can do a double? What? One hundred forty thousand. Jesus, these guys got a lot of HP. Wow. Wow, wow, we won. They got a lot of HP. Keep the taunter, but hopefully don't die. Okay, that's all right. He charges up the chainsaw. Follow my charge. Conflict is pitiless. Naughty child. That's better. Nice teamwork. Welcome, customers. <laughs> yeah. There's no time to lose. Here, this thunder. No. No. Wait, didn't I? I thought I taunted. Wait, I didn't taunt? Hmm. Okay, I swear I taunted. Oh my god, Lightning Lord, please. I can't believe you're doing 114,000 damage and it's like not doing anything. I can't believe you're doing 140,000 damage and it's doing a, a smidgen of his HP and this is not even the last tier. God damn! The difficulty's high. The difficulty's high, boys. You're gonna need juicy characters for this. Wait, really? He didn't die there? I don't know why I expected him to die from a Ting Yun slap. Oh, leave her alone! Wow. Wow. Is that enough? 101,000? Jesus. Oh, yeah. No, this is going to be... And that is a good elation one to get, though. Thank you. Then we get this. Now, I think we want to grab Sensory Pursuit, and then we want Dance of Growth, which is the extra. Um, damage on money or more more Eidolons. Although I have Tingyan at E1... Oh, E6 rather. Uh, Jing Yuan's one may be of high value, and we're not. We're gonna try to spend all our money to upgrade the three stars. Well, at least if hopefully we hopefully we can do that. Um, we're gonna spend just a smidge in here to do these ones. Follow up attack damage. Okay, good. And then the elation one. We need the other elation one. The other one is the actual da like DPS elation one. The other one is a lot more important, but it doesn't seem like I'll get it. Doesn't seem like I'll be able to get it. Here, this thunder. Show no mercy. Okay, 153,000. Bro, that was crazy. It did nothing. No damage was done. 
my charge. Conflict is pitiless. Please, okay, then Lightning Lord comes in with the big one here. No, 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 Lightning, Lightning Lord, Lightning, 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 Lightning. Stop buffing each other, please. Lightning Man comes in, come on. I'm on guard. 200,000, what? Dude, where's the big one, dude? Where's the big, like, 5 billion damage, Jing Yuan? Jesus Christ. I guess he didn't have Ting Yun's buff, which is fair. Follow my it's pitiless. Had no big buffs. <laughs> Show no mercy. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Okay, no. No, no, no. Elation, three star. Okay, more action forwarding from the hunt at the end of the turn. Maybe we can just have infinite turns if we do this. Ooh, no. None of those, please. Crit rate of shielded characters. That's that's not bad. That must mean now that Jin Yuan's crit rate is at 50 minimum. Easily. With potential higher. We went down the occurrence route. It gives us all oh, this one. Obtain one Akira, all characters lose 20%. That's fine. Akira can be pretty good right now. Uh, Akira that resets all my Curios. Oh, they're all so good Curios that all these other ones are not good Curios. Oh. Oh. These are all good, like, oh, destructible objects. Uh, we can't go for the Trapezohedron. Trap, tra 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 I can't even pronounce it. Can't go for that. It'll mess up my uh, my stuff. All right. Appreciate the help, Sohi Hal, or whatever your names are. So see, Sal. All right, the tough thing is, we don't have enough to upgrade this. Yeah, mistakes have been made, but we gotta we gotta try our best. We gotta try our darn bestest against goddamn uh, Jepard. All right, bring it on, Jeppy. Bring it on, Bucko Roo. That one, shield up, and we open up with the Natasha. Bang. All right. Okay, he summons the ads. I hit him with the big one. Show no mercy. Then we apply this. Then we apply that. This is dealing big damage. We're just going balls to the wall. No holding back. I'm going to shield intermittently. Because these other guys didn't have a shield. There we go. Now they got it. Oh my god, he almost killed immediately. Stop. Stop it. Stop it right now. We're gonna do this because I suspect that Jing Yuan's gonna bring out the source. Okay, he brought the source. The source was literally cooking. Oh my days, that was good damage. Okay. We got 152,000. Also good. Heal up immediately with Natasha. Natasha, you are literally the auxiliary unit right now. Okay, that's fine. Got no shield. Okay, we could taunt, which we will. Not Natasha other. doesn't have to heal anyone specifically right Not now. Time. We do that, then we do one of these ones. Right, sensory no pursuit is applied. Is Follow my charge. Here, this thunder. Do they still have taunt? They have taunt applied still, right? How does taunt work in this game? Yeah, they still have taunt? Yeah. The enemy has to have one turn. We stand together. Oh, not the shield! Not the shield! Quickly apply another shield to my guys so they take a bit less. Before Natasha needs to provide healing. Now, Jin Yuan attacks next with his, uh, thing. Oh, wow! We did the whole shield in one go? Wow! I wasn't able to do that on the previous difficulties in any way. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Is Jesus. No. No, okay, Natasha, you're, you're coming in. I thought it was about to womp uh, Ting Yun. But no, it's okay. No I'm, I'm not investing too many ultimates here, hopefully. 
I'm just gonna let Lightning Lord do the, the job, right? Get this last phase done with the uh, Lightning Man. Okay, pop this, and then we pop Jin Yuan's ultimate. Sensory Pursuit. That means this stuff happens. And we follow up with this. Okay. 131,000. I was ex expecting a bit more, though. Chuck that in. Not on your command. Don't. Oh! Oh! I'm on guard. Shit! Okay, that's not nice. Naughty child. That's not Naughty. nice. Here, We're not done yet. Okay, oh. Oh. Okay. That's not nice. I think we still got it though. Um, we're not gonna taunt. Oh wait, no, maybe we should have taunted. Follow my charge. I'm going to send it. I'm going to just send it all in. This is going to deal a lot. I'm going to pray that this he can break the shield now. Oh! Okay. I'm just... We're sending it. This is the full send. We're going to taunt him here because he's going to stand up. Oh, no, wait. Jin Yuan because of turn on advancing. No, yes, okay. Whack him instead. He's gonna, no, he's not, he's not going to do AoE. Okay. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Just top myself up. Don't don't do another shield. Not a step closer. Okay. And there it is. Woo! Woo! A delicate oh yeah! T4 done. T4 Japard done. Didn't stand a chance to be quite frank. Did not stand a chance. Oh my days. That was kinda scary there. I, I feel like uh King of Infinity! What is that achievement? And we get these two things. Uh, space Healing Station, not great. And then the other one, also not too great. And we get 200 extra XP and 60 gemmies. Very cool. It also lets me claim this bad boy. Very nice. Oh my god. Yeah, what, Jepard almost had us there. Uh, yeah, there was that moment he whacked Tinyun. He She died immediately. And I was like, oh no, this is the end of it. Because I thought he was just going to continuously combo for some reason. Oh yeah, I don't think we're getting through Kakolia though. There's no chance I can live through Kakolia. Well, I think we'll be able to do Svarog. But goddamn, and, and Kafka if we do Abundance. But goddamn, Kakolia ain't getting done until I have like three more characters at level 80. Because I'll be honest, my Natasha and my Trailblazer are still level 60. But the fact that we can still do it was very underleveled is quite impressive. So, there we go. That's one done. On to World 4. Do I use this on anyone? Talia King of Banditry? I guess I do. I guess I, it's used on... I would probably use it on my Asta, to be quite fair. I think Arsta is pretty good with this. More, more breakness and then speed increase. Okay, cool. Alright, Svarog time. Svarog. Um, yeah, we got to we got to think of a team here though. Again, it's got to be. I think it has to be the same team. They're the only team that I can see that them doing it and not struggling the whole way through. And it has to. Oh, we have to always do elation. Right, because I need the survivability. Because goddamn, I do need that survivability. But here, the only problem here is that if I get the wrong enemy type, I really just, I lose. Now, I'm curious, maybe I should run, instead of Ting Yun, I should maybe run uh, Silver Wolf because of her uh, dot application and her dots just being really powerful. Um, but I'm, I'm not sure. I think for World 4, we're just going to run the same comp as World 3. Ting Yun, uh, Jing Yuan... Trailblazer Fire, Natasha. Just the survivability high DPS combo. But if we end up failing this one, we uh, we may have to go with the uh, Silver Wolf because I think she provides a bit more damage. But there's something some security there about, about um, Ting Yun. Anyway, uh, Elation build again. It's the only one you can really run with Jing Yuan to try to like progress. So it's the only one I'm going to try to run until the future, obviously. But Curio, number one. Which one is it? Ooh, ooh.
if I, if I take the... I don't think I should be gambling with the lotto ticket, right? I don't think I should be gambling with the lotto ticket. But, it'd be kind of fun to see if we can get really lucky. <laughs> Alright, big lotto ticket, let's go. Surely I can get... Like, it's a, it's a progress run. Come on, big lotto ticket. Do me one solid, please. That's all I ask. One solid favor. Let me break the first obstacle and get something. Uh, the hunt. I want to try to spend a lot less money, so I'm just going to try to, like, do, like, take valuable ones. Uh, but if they're obviously all dog shit, I have to re-roll it. Elation, weakness break, efficiency, speed at the start. Svarog is a very fast man, and as soon as you get hit, it falls off, so I don't really think it's good. Okay. Are we going to try to do this, though? Not, not necessarily speed running, but... I don't want to be a, a slow Andy, so we got to try to do this with a moderate amount of tempo in our step. Moderate amount of tempo. Here we go. Lightning Lord, do your shit. 24,000. Nice. <laughs> nice. Ooh, for each enemy hit, increase... Oh, this is really good against Svaro, actually. For each enemy hit, uh, deal additional 24% of their attack to the uh, enemy's hit. Okay, nothing there. Only one breakable item in this whole area? Wow. Come oh, on, a bit stingy, don't you think, Mahoyo? A bit stingy. Show no mercy. Show no mercy. Can't take any of those. Okay, elation heals. Not great, but we'll take it, I guess. Um uh, you know, we'll try an occurrence store. I don't usually try to go for these on progression because they are usually end up giving you something really bad. Um, oh, but he makes the best choice of his career. A triple trotter. Now, if we can get the triple trotter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He makes the best choice of his whole life. Lance of Blaze. Okay, what do they got? What do they got here? <laughs> what's, the, what's the dealio? Okay, we don't stop. We chuck this over here, get that guy going. Chuck the ultimate for this guy in. Show no mercy. Does that push it above that trotter? No, it doesn't. But we can if we use this right here. It's above that trotter. Right? No, that... Yeah, okay, cool. Put that one there to attack boost him. Break that one's shield. Just to put it in the middle and hope that Lightning Lord can carry this. And Cat Lightning Lord brings it home. Oh! Best decision I've ever made. So, there we go. Hunt uh, gives more speed. Speed is always great. Preservation crit rate. We're going to go for the speed one because we can have a few cunt hunt. Cannot cunt hunt. Cunt hunt. Fuck! I can't speak! We don't have a lot of hunt cards, but we still have a few. More elation. Weakness break efficiency is great. Follow back the attacks delay enemy action, and we upgrade that. That gives the imprisonment chance. That's pretty good. Uh, do we go combat here? Fuck it. We'll go du the double occurrence, the back to back. Oh, we have. I totally forgot we have the lotto ticket. Jesus, that was a gamble. That was a g okay. Oh, that scared me. Obtain one negative curio and one three star. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Uh, required to level up and reset blessings increased by 25. Eh, it's not the worst thing in the world, to be fair. It's not the worst. Um, well. Well. If you get garbage, it is the worst thing in the world. Below 50%, we uh, get fighting spirit. It's the only decent one there. Shit. Now that's really bad. <laughs> Alright, run's fucked already. Run is fucked. Okay. Will of preservation. So. So. Lance of blaze. Lance oh blaze. And because we've got a lot of speed increase, we should be good to do a lot of stuff. Show no mercy. A thousand wonders to fight as one. Thank you. But will that stop here? This thunder. Buff him up as much as we possibly can. Lightning Lord comes in with the big Baba Booey. 
91,000. I was actually expecting a bit higher, not, not gonna lie with this. I was expecting a bit higher than 91,000. Um, I got nothing to deal with these schmucks, but we'll hit them with the uh, resonance skill. Maybe that will kill them. No, it won't. Maybe the AoE will. It will. Alright, keep the tempo. No slowing down. We're speedrunning, but not really. Then because of the so much of the speed that we have, we can just kind of... Yeah, nah, speed is like... If you can do like an, a, a speed hybrid build with any kind of tree... Oh, bro, I'm getting more of the destruction ones. That's not really good. Ooh, weakness break gives more attack. That's okay. No elation, no elation. Reduce cost, okay. Um, no elation. No elation, no elation. Ooh, I totally forgot. Okay. Okay, we're still alive. Okay, okay. <laughs> we're still alive. We're still alive. Um... We get the cure. Just get the cure. Cure. Okay, one stars are leveled up. We can have a free reset though. A free reset. That's not bad. A free reset. Um, I don't have a lot of the level ones from Elation, so being able to have them at plus one without having to spend on them potentially is like pretty high value. So we'll go with that. Oh, a curio again. We have to take it right. Let's go for if we have the healing one on ultimate. Oh, an extra thing. Increase energy. So, uh, when a curio is fixed, a character loses all their energy when they weakness break an enemy. Once the code is fixed, this character regenerates the thing. Okay, can I exit this to check if there was a, a trotter? I want to check if there was a trotter. That's going to be very crucial to my livelihood. We'll go with it. Why not? Weakness break, lose all energy. What's the worst that can happen? No trotter. What's the worst that can happen, eh? We lose? That's pretty bad, but yeah. Lost all your energy, did you, Jingyuan? Lost all your energy, did you? Wonder why that happened, eh? <laughs> God damn it. That's a taunt here, because Lightning Lord's going to take care of it. He didn't take care of it. What the hell? He didn't take care of it. Lightning man, what the? What's happening, buddy? You didn't take care of it. Oh, the absolute state. Um. Okay, it's a hunt one. Should have went with a hunt tree at this point. Uh, we're not gonna actually break these things until we're at the end of the stage because the potential of losing all my HP was fighting these guys, even though they. And they very clearly did get hits off. Not a good idea. Follow my truck. Here, thunder. Not a good idea. Yeah. Time. Okay, we'll taunt, I guess. A bit overkill. Oh god. Um. Ooh, there it is. Follow up damage increased by thirty nine percent. Very good. More frequency. Doom 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 There's no time to hear this thunder. Conflict is pitiless. Let's be friends. Oh yeah, let's be friends. Time for a shot. No physical weakness? Chuck that on, why not? Lance at the ready. I'm on guard. Taunt it up. Okay. Alright. So far this run has been weird and very bad. Badly badly weird, okay. Now what does the fully unlocked thing of this one do actually? I don't remember. And when a character weakness breaks an enemy, they regenerate 40 energy. Now that's pretty right. No! Shit. The Curio's busted and we've lost all our HP. Oh no. This is really bad. 
This is really, really bad. But I did get the cheese, didn't I? Wait, did I get the cheese? I did get the cheese, so I restore at the start of a fight. Oh yeah. Or is that the end of a fight? Oh no. Oh no. Ah shit. Ah shit. Ah shit. This is not good. Show no mercy. Oh no. Just just a little something. Think nothing of it. Better late than never. Nap time. Here, this thunder. Welcome, customers. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, we have to taunt. This guy's gonna blast me. Thanks, lightning guy. is pitiless. Follow my charge. Here, this thunder. Then we weakness break with our ultimate, Show and we no should mercy. get a chunk of our ultimate back. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that was nice. That was real nice. Just weakness break with your ultimate, and you get the ultimate back. Simple as that. Oh no, I didn't taunt. Oh, I didn't taunt. Okay. Anyway, we heal thirty percent. Uh, elation damage. Thank you. We are desperate for some damage. Shielded characters deal 35, uh, 45 percent crit more more crit damage. Jesus Christ, can't speak. Okay, team's mostly full HP. We've got the elite. Please don't be a shit one. Okay, you're right. This guy can one-shot my whole team, but I the power of friendship. <laughs> cool. we'll, we'll figure it out. It. We'll figure it out, I think. I hope. Please. Yep, that's fine. Then we come in with the ultimate. Time this is going to give his ultimate right back to him. No mercy. Right? Chain ultimates. The second one just did no damage. The second one did no damage. What the fuck? What the fuck? The second one did nothing. It's catastrophic. Follow my charge. Here, this thunder. And then we'll boost that there because Lightning Lord will attack before that guy does. And for the most part, we just apply a shield. Lightning Lord comes in. Hundred and fifty thousand. It's pitiless. Show no mercy. Show no mercy. Yeah. Here, this thunder. Oh, oh there, Tingyun. Oh, whoa, 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 there, buddy. Whoa, nice there. Whoa. Time for a shot. Um. Maybe I want to put the heal dot on Tingyun. But at the same time, I think there's a high chance he, is he that, does he do his belly flop soon? Oh, I can't remember how he does his belly flop. I think I'm the Tingyun's dead here. I think now's the belly flop, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. <gasps> Holy shit! Please don't attack Tingyun. I'm surprised she lived that. Yeah, it's very much RNG, RNG that she lived. Hmm. I'm on guard. Better late than ever. Yes. Here, this thunder. Do that. Lightning Lord comes in to save the day, as per usual. Nah, I don't. I, well, there's no chance I'm doing Svarog. Nah, absolutely no chance. I was very optimistic at the start. I was like, you know what? Maybe Svarog is possible. Nah. No chance on my life. We'll get to him and he'll just womp me. Not. Yeah, look at that. You can't, you can't do it when I'm getting these things. Come on. Elation one, not the good Elation one again. I would have preferred the one, of, any of the other two. Elation card, replace all. I have to replace all curios, right? There's so many bad curios here. The fragment costing one. I think I have to replace curios. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Nihility card, abundance card, plus two blessings on the next choice. And then also three stars. So we get two three stars in the next battle. Plus one Eidolon. Uh, randomly level up two Curios. And uh, Reese. Okay, yeah, nah. We, we got... Oh. Okay, that's not a great one to level up. That one's fine. 
Okay, that's a great abundance one. That's one utility. Okay. Okay, maybe now we can do it. After we did that reroll, maybe it's possible. Maybe. Oh my god, that was a really good reset. That was a really good reset. Holy shit. We had to reset it though. We had so many invalid cards that just didn't do anything. Uh, I don't think we go for another Curio. Maybe we go for another Enhancement. But we want to have money for the last stage. To enhance. So, maybe just... I'd rather spend it on specific enhancements. We don't have the discount, so it's going to be very expensive. But I'd rather do it there than here. Okay, this is going to give us two three-star relic uh, blessings. Not relics. But now we don't have the epic energy regen thingy. Oh, that's unfortunate. That was, that was kind of like a fun little gameplay thing that we did. The uh, energy regen Show thing. No mercy. That's better. A thousand thanks. Yes? Just torn here. I have to. Mm. This thunder. That's really cool. That's really cool, actually. Where they just like were completely immune to all damage. That was my favorite part about that. Follow my that part where the, the enemies were just completely and utterly immune. Oh no, no elation. Okay. Yep. Elation again. No, no elation. Have a chance to freeze them every six attacks, though. That's not too bad. And then Sensory Pursuit. Okay. Region Encounter Occurrence. We'll chuck Occurrence. Why the fuck not? Region Encounter probably would have been a smarter one, but I can't be asked right now. Well, no, I, st oh, I haven't utilized... No, yeah, no, no, no. Discarded Curio obtained 200 fragments. Um... Uh, there's a few bud, uh, duds, buds, duds, that I could get rid of. So, yeah, this one because we're not going into a fight, we're not going to be able to utilize that one again. Okay, now we're good. We just have to level up the two elation ones again. We got the two, not the two worst, but one of the not preferred elation ones. The other one is much better for after taste damage. Got six five stars though. Oh, three stars. Again, not not bad. Um, so we want to upgrade the two elation. So this one, increase elation damage by 35%. Then this one, aftertaste damage on weakness broken enemies and whatnot. And then potentially just this one, weakness uh, breaking by the action increase if the enemies, it's all, for all allies. Um, all allies go forward after you weakness break, which is kind of goaded as hell. Going to do infinite turn cycling and 75%, 25% extra bonus. I think all the other ones are kind of eh. So we'll go for that. Well, most of the ones that I have left to level up for Elation are eh, except for maybe some of these ones. Maybe maybe one of the blue ones. I guess the imprisonment, imprisonment one would have been good, but a bit too late now. Anyway. Oh, God. Svarog, bring it on, buddy. Bring it on, Svarog. Alright. Summon your ads. Raised. <laughs> Time for the mess. <laughs> Get a load of this one. Show no mercy. Baba Booey. A thousand wonders to Chuck that on. Um... Here, this thunder. Not gonna use the ultimate again. Because we gotta <laughs> save it for the next thing. Because <laughs> Lightning Law's gonna absolutely bust a big one. Yep, 159,000. Again, not a lot of damage, but good. Uh, then we're going to use ultimate again to, to get this phase done. 84,000, wow. Welcome, customers. There's no time to hear this thunder. Executing operation. Oh, wow. Didn't take any damage there. That's pretty good. 
I would have wished to be able to... Maybe we can do this and this will kill him. Because it's a damaging ultimate, right? After taste damage. Oh! So close. So close. No, do this one. I want Lightning Lord to be at the start of this one because he's gonna... Lightning Lord's gonna be able to do some stuff here. Oh, not these guys. Not these guys. Lightning Lord's a bit more valuable, I think. Don't do that. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my god, he one-shot them. See? Now, this is why gaming is fun. The big numbers. I, I, I shouldn't heal here with Natasha because uh, Svara is going to do something crazy. Like that. I should have waited until after because of that as well. But I'll whip out the big one. The big one. Yeah. Um... This gives more energy to Nahasha, get her ultimate a bit quicker. Here, this thunder. Welcome, customers. Uh, this next Lightning Lord should, in fact, kill Svarog, I believe. 43% with a shield break. Yep, there it is. Fuck. Right, maybe I lied. Maybe we will get Svarog, but it has been a bit of a tense moment. I'm trying to play absolutely perfectly. Um, maybe that was a bit unnecessary. Um... Okay, no, it wasn't unnecessary. We chuck in this. Lightning Lord should now go uh, very much higher. That's dead. To heal. Oh, Natasha coming in clutch. Um, we have that. One there. Two. Three. Buff. Lightning Lord. It's 91. So Sfara goes again before Lightning Lord, unfortunately. Maybe let her just heal Tignan and put the dot on her. There's no time to lose. Here, this thunder. Okay. Push forward. Because the amount of action forwarding I have, Lightning Lord is, ends up like being really slow. Technically slow. Not really slow. But, but like pract not pract I don't even know how to word it. If I do this, then my whole team goes forward again. I, I kinda of want Lightning Lord to be a bit quicker, but maybe it is fine actually. Uh, do that. Oh no, I should have uh, done the thing. Do that. Then this. Sensory Pursuit. Bang. What's he gonna do? Nothing. And then that happens. Oh! Woo! Two in a row. Japard, World th uh, Tier 4, and Svarog Tier 4 done. First try. Dude, that was... How was that easier than Japard? That felt easier, and like we had a larger mix of like buffs and whatnot from different trees. Oh, but damn, there it is. The absolute easy run of World 4. Tier 4. Incredible. Very um, unfortunate there with all of those Curio things, but look at that. You can do it as long as you have a good unit, boys. Just build one unit specifically. Only build one character. There it is. Uh, and that gives us Ice Damage, but that's on Break Effect for King Talia Kingdom of Banditry. Not great. And HP. Not great, but what are you going to do? Alright, Dunzos. Dunzos. World 4. I would say easier than World 3, but I think it's because I have a team structured for World 4. I think... Jing Yuan is made for World 4 uh, with the high amount of adds and whatnot and everyone is weak to lightning so it doesn't really count to say that it's easier but um, it definitely definitely is easier with Jing Yuan. Alright, tier 5 though, or world 5 sorry, gonna be a bit harder. It's uh, it's Kafka. It's she's not weak to anything that I own. Uh, um, She's weak to physical, wind, <laughs> and imaginary. I don't own any of these elements, and I don't know if I should use my Jinyuan, but I've actually got nothing else. I don't know if I can do this one. I don't know if it's possible. Right? I don't... If I had maybe my Yanqing leveled up to level 80, which I may be able to do, but his Light Cone would be level 70 still, and he himself would still... Like, his traces would be very low, but I may be able to just level him up. But that would still make Kafka... The, like, the actual Kafka fight itself, ridiculously long. Run Abundance, try to cheese it like that. I say what we do is this. 
is we run Silverwolf uh, Jinyuan to add lightning damage, or lightning weakness, sorry, to a lot of these other units. Uh, at least theor theoretically, but I'm going to be running physical fire support guys or uh, sustain guys so I can live. Uh, but we I don't want to have to run the abundance tree. I really don't want to do that, but I think I have to run the abundance tree. I think I just have to run the abundance tree. I don't think it's an option. Specifically when you're like using two units that are substantially lower level than, um, than the rest of the, the, the enemies. If the if my two guys were like the side guys were like seventy five plus, I would be able to easily rock like uh, Su Shang and uh, someone else, or like uh, Su Shang Dan Heng, Su Shang Bronya, but they're like sixty, and Su Shang's like very uh, like badly geared right now. I think we just, we I think we we just uh... yeah, this should work. Uh, I, I don't think there's any guarantee of a clear, but at least we get close. And we'll run Abundance. I'm not happy about it, but we'll run Abundance. We'll be able to do something because we have Natasha. We'll live. It'll just... This is going to be like a 40-minute run. So when this is uploaded as a video, thanks for sitting, sitting through a 40-minute run, I guess, is what I'll say. <laughs> well, just... It's going to be a long-ass run. But now that we have this lady, we can constantly use her technique, which is a lot better. So it's gonna be a big one. A forgotten conflict is pitiless. Nap time. Oh, 33,000 as well. What the hell? That's a lot of damage for uh. That's unexpected, actually. Very unexpected. It's time. Yeah. Uh, abundance, though. What do we play here? I think like, abundance is one of those trees where you do need all three, um, all three of the three stars, right? Because it's all about that gum drop or whatever it's called, dew drop. Sorry. Character is low, increased damage, break efficiency, nihility. Weakness, break efficiency, breaking is not bad, I guess. Abundance for each uh, blessing, increase the other's max HP. Yep. Okay. Natasha will be able to heal more. Uh, break efficiency. Sure, break effect. Let's go. Let's go. Break effect. Oh, very cool. And I think we'll just because this run is so uncertain. Because it's so uncertain, I think I'm just gonna try to do full, um, full occurrence doors for a potential run, May. Right. That's what I'm gonna try to do. Is full occurrence doors. If we can get a run, May, that'd be incredibly good. Abundance, defense increase after a character is healed, or after a character is provided healing. Let's go for a defense increase. Maybe make, get a better shield, whatnot. <clears throat> uh, hey, what's up, Azuri? Uh, how, I hope you're having a great day and a great life. I am. Thank you so much for saying that. Really appreciate that. Hope you're also having a great day and a great life. I am uh, having a fun time here. We're doing the, the level 60 tier of uh, Simulated Universe. We're doing all the, the new ones that we've unlocked. A negative Curio with one three star. Yes, please. And when selecting a blessing after victory, the number of available ones is reduced by one. That's okay. That's all right. Ooh. Now, damage being distributed evenly is a pro and a negative. I think because we run abundance, it, the, like this, the chances that we die are zero if we run this. It, it, it's just that every fight is going to be about a 40 turn fight if I take this, right? Which I will take it immediately. But every, every fight is going to be really, really long, right? So, we're going to be here for a very long time. Yes, welcome to the stream. Yes, we are we are HSRing. Trying to get things done and dusted. Stay up to date and be the best. Okay, lost in thought. I forgot what each, what each one does. Let's go for the bottom one. Ooh, yes, please. The Warping Eye Compound, whatever the fuck. That's a really good one. That's a really good one. Ready when you are. Uh, not the greatest fight I've ever seen, but... Let's try our darn diddly hardest. Try our darn diddly best. Opponent. Wait, I've just noticed. I don't actually have the... Okay, we have to actually try. Can't actually... I can't not try here. Um... Lance of Lace. Lance! 
doorway. Follow my charge. Show no mercy. I was just gonna kind of piss around and maybe not try, but we'll definitely have to try. Apply lightning weakness, please. Thank you. <laughs> and we do this one. This is double speed. Time for a shot. <laughs> Lands at the ready. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Conflict is pitiless. A miracle. No. Okay, that's huh. more enemies. Um just to get rid of one of them, I guess I'll do this. Oh, actually, doesn't get rid of him, does it? Nap time. He's definitely dead. Follow my charge. Here. Alright, thank god for Silver Wolf. Very, very solid. Oh, not as much of damage as I thought it would be. What the hell? I definitely thought that was going to do a lot more damage. We'll still heal up with Natasha. Don't want to be in a bad position ever. So we'll just stay on top of the uh, the HP. Stay on top of it. That's fine. Now, does he has he lost? Yeah, he's lost. Now, let me do this. Fire weakness. What? No, it should have been the other one. It should have been the lightning weakness. That's right, I guess. Yeah, these are just gonna be long ass fights. Just gonna be really long fights. Show no mercy. Show no mercy. Lightning. Follow my charge. Quantum. I thought he already had quantum. No. Alright. See, that is going to be the average fight length. After defeating enemy, gain critical boost. And eh, not a bad one. We'll take it. Um, we get elation cards increase and get one at the start. We have Silver Wolf on the team. All this E1 does is increase energy, so leave that alone. Jingyuan's isn't that much better. Fall off damage, 26%. Alright, cool. Doom doo do boom ba doo Break that and hurt up. Uh, we'll upgrade the Cosmic Fragments? I think so. I think upgrading them right now is a bit better than getting Curious. I think Curious are better for a fun time. 15... Yeah, okay, this is going to be the the longest run in my life that I've done of SU because we're so underleveled, but there's no chance of us dying. We're just... We're chronically underleveled, but... And undergeared, but there's just no chance of us dying. Now, is the blue one here? That's the healing one. That's the skill point, and this is the uh, energy one. I think my highest chance of success is the uh, the healing one. Because that can go into the Dewdrop mechanic, which will end up being better for me. My current team is Jing Yuan, uh, Ting Yun, Bai Lu, and Silver Wolf. Hey, that's the goaded team right now. I'll be honest with you. I wish I had that right now. I wish I had Bai Lu. I really do. Bai Lu would be an absolute godsend right now, but unfortunately I don't have her. I might try to get her from my guaranteed on the standard banner, but yeah, Bai Lu would, Bai Lu would be the, the premium team right now for that. Healer. I have to run my, my two supports here because they're the only supports I have that are decent. Which is, I'm okay with that. But yeah, that, that's right there is the premium lightning team. T Jing Yuan, Ting Yun, no Silver Wolf, and, uh, and Bai Lu. You can only really apply lightning uh, weakness to enemies. Quantum definitely occurs, but god damn. Slap that there. That one there. Follow my gear. Thunder. They do no damage though, even though they are pretty high level. I thought they would be doing a bit more damage. Um, elation, uh, follow-up attacks, heal. No, abundance, abundance. Thanks. Uh, upon entering battle, restore thirty percent. That's fine. Then we get the actual abundance thing. We do need just to get the the active abundance on field thing, and then also the cleanse. We do need that cleanse thing desperately. Okay, Trotter. Okay, Trotter, Trotter, Trotter. Do this one, and then we just run. Okay. Trotter. Trotter. Trotter, Trotter. Harry Potter. Trotter, Trotter, Harry Potter. Show no mercy. Chuck that in. Oh my... No, don't do that much damage. No, that's too much. You're doing like 10% of my HP a hit. Forward. Was that it? 
but it is split, but that doesn't do actually anything. Uh, apply lightning, please. Yep, okay, lightning applied. This combat needs optima. This is double speed. What SU is this? This is uh, Kafka T3. Kafka T3. That'll take more than medicine. I'm okay. That's why I'm kind of going with the abundance build to try to like kind of cheese it as best as I can. Uh, because that's what abundance does with Kafka. We did a uh, Jepard and Svarog on our first goes and hoping to do a bit of a Kafka on first go as well. That'll be kind of nice. But this goddamn trotter, I hate the fire trotters so much. It's the most unenjoyable trotter to fight. 57,000 damage, that's alright. Okay, and destruction, destruction. The max HP one is actually pretty okay for uh, abundance, even though it is from the destruction tree. Then here, um, shielded characters take 24% less. We're just going for the pure survivability, but we're going to skip that one just because I was hoping to get something else, but okay. Uh, weakness break applies that or don't. Let's go for the weakness break. A, a dissociation is usually percentage-based damage, so it's pretty good. Do, 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 And they should immediately be applied with dissociation. Or a foregone conclusion. Technically should have, but. This thunder. Time for a buzz. <laughs> Ow. It's time. Yes. I guess they are technically frozen when they do that, so Show I could no kind of go for a even if I see some remembrance cards, they wouldn't be too bad. I'm pretty sure like you know, dissociation counts as froze. Or freeze, sorry. Um. There's no time to lose. There's oh, no time to lose. Alright. Anyway, <laughs> speed this up. Time for nap time. Lands at the Twelve thousand. Uh the hunt, elation. Uh we gotta go with the elation. Not good, not good, but Occurrence? Why the fuck not? <laughs> Very bad choice, but hey, we still don't have the... Oh no, we still don't have the right things. Oh no, uh, this may have been the biggest mistake of my life. A big net surrounds you. That could increase Jin Yuan's damage by a large percentage. Wait, no. Did I get... Was that the right one? No, what the fuck? What did I click? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I thought that was the spider one. No! Oh... I thought that was the spider one. The net? Ah, oh, well, mistakes have been made, and I regret most of my choices. Will of preservation. Uh, we get a... Oh god, I don't... Don't have technique points. <laughs> Time for the master <sighs> Okay. Show no mercy. Ow. opponent here. This thunder. So, apply lightning, please. Yep, thank you for the lightning. <laughs> this, this one. Then we quickly apply a shield. I think that I have the raise. shield bonuses? Lance. I can't remember. Anyway, Forward. apply shield regardless. Then you do something. 120,000, even with abundance. Eh, that's not bad. Not each that's not bad damage. It's time. Association applied. That all... Oh my, oh my 128,000! Oh my days, what the fuck? Here, That's crazy. God knows what did it. It must have been the quantum into the dissociation buff. 128,000 from a dot that I don't even know what it was. was it's kind of, kind of cooked. I'm on guard. Yes. There's no time to okay, lose. thank Conflict you. Is pitiless. My nose. Show no mercy. I'm just a little more skeptical about this run because Kafka does like to not be cool um, and likes to be a big bully. Fire weakness, that's fine. Kafka is a massive bully. So. 87,000? Eh, not quite the same, but decent enough. Lightning weakness added. Nap time. Nap time. Conflict. 
is pitiless. And, uh, ooh, not dead. Wow. There we go. Cool. Uh, it was 1,000 short. Okay. Remembrance, when attacking a frozen enemy, there's a 100% chance to inflict association. <sighs> Probably not. Oh, abundance. Okay, thank God. No, oh, thank God. Um... Okay, how many cures do I have? I have a fair few, right? I think we just take the curio resetting one, if anything. I got some really stinker curios. Okay, reduction of cost. We get a preservation and an abundance card. Re level up two random ones. Reduction cost. Damage on money. Um, winning a battle revives all guys. And when choosing a blessing, random level up one of them. Okay. Ooh, very cool enhancement. Increase the damage of Judah by 40%. And also, weakest break efficiency of follow up. Uh, provide healing, they restore 12%. Okay. Um, after a character is hit, deal quake damage. Okay, cool. No, that's really good, actually. Place to the strong suits of what I'm rocking, a healer and a tank. Okay. No, this is, uh, this has gone quite well, actually, but could be slightly better. Uh, let's enhance... No, let's not enhance. Reason is I want to be able to enhance at the very end. Choose what I want to enhance instead of leave it up to RNG. Alright, what do you got for me? Ooh, Sib and Som. Obtain one Curio, lose all your HP. Oh, sorry, 20%. Punk Lord Mentality? Eh, hey, that's an event quest. Lol. Uh, let's go for the idle one, though. Even though it's not overly useful, it's still better than, um, than that. We're going to go for combat because we do need to fight. Do, 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 Chuck that in there. Okay. Hopefully this goes well. Follow my charge. Ooh, immediate dissociation. Wow. Here, thunder. I don't have the cleanse yet. Oh no, I've just realized I don't actually have the cleanse um thing. That'll take more than medicine. <laughs> That's not good. I don't have the cleanse. A foregone conclusion. Conflict is pitiless. Can I have fun this time? Time for a fun. <laughs> um, God, oh, this is... It's going so well, but also so bad. I'm not exactly sure what to feel right now. I feel good, but I feel like this is going to go awry as soon as we hit Kakolia. And uh, not Kakolia, Kafka. Thunder. Yeah, I can chuck in the ultimate. Show no mercy. Conflict is pitiless. I'm okay. That's fine. Nobody took damage. Um. Okay. Increase incoming healing. Um. As much as I want to go for the passive healing, I think we have to go for the the cleanse, right? So. After releasing a resonance, remove all kind of debuffs and applies one stack of subduing evil, right? We have to go for that one because I can't have like a team wide, um, like a uh, mind control. That's just not something that you can really allow to happen in, in this fight. And that's usually during phase three, but let that go through. We lose. So what do we upgrade? Um, uh, inflicting weakness break. This effect ignores enemies' chance to resist freeze. I think we level up that, so every weakness break we can actually freeze Kafka. Which, we'll be doing that moderately frequently, so we grab that one immediately. And after that, defeating an enemy, critical boost, not overly useful. Um, so we won't grab that. Weakness break efficiency, I don't think overly useful either. Quake, follow-up attack damage, healing, defense on heal. Go for the follow-up damage and the um, the defense on heal. That should probably net me the best results, but could be better. Could be better. We have a few of the Jujot ones. It's pretty good. Um, Kafka, prepare to meet your maker. Use that. That one. And we're going to start off with silver. Not so fast. Okay. Feeling a little dizzy? 
Oh, the worst one to immediately steal. Go fuck yourself. You know what? I'll use this straight away. That's so unfortunate. <laughs> immediately takes fucking Civil War, the one I didn't want to take. Ah! God damn it. I was hoping for a bit of back and forth of, uh... Um... Not back and forth. A bit of weakness application and whatnot. Conflict is pitiless. He didn't die from that? Ready. Oh, expecting someone to die from that. Lightning? Thank you. And then chuck this in. This speed. Here, this, thunder. this man's resilient as hell. Lands at the ready. <laughs> Man's Man. resilient. Forward. Was that it? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> that hurt. What the? That's Show a. No Whoa! She does a lot of damage still. Okay, that's not. That shouldn't be a surprising thing because she she should be doing a lot of damage. But even with the fifteen percent damage reduction, a lot of the defense increasing, I'm just surprised by how much damage she's still doing. Immediately cleanse that. This combat needs just surprised. That's so much damage. Get good, bro. Kafka, relax, buddy. Relax. It ain't that deep. A foregone conclusion. Wait, she didn't get dissociation. Huh? She didn't get dissociation? What? No, that's fair enough. Increase damage dealt by 2%. This effect can stack. Mm, in incredible. Ah, she didn't get dissociation applied. That's, um, really unfortunate. Something for everybody ready. Not a scratch. Nap time. There's no time to lose. Conflict. Well, because we don't have the passive, um... The passive cleanse, I'll have to plan my cleanses, which is a bit obnoxious. Watch your face. Just, just a little Trifling. Think nothing of it. Nice teamwork. Huh. More enemy. Time for a buzz. <laughs> this combat need. <laughs> this is double speed. Here, this thunder. Naughty child. <laughs> Not so fast. <laughs> Feeling a little dizzy. I'm feeling a little busy. Feeling a little whoopy. Okay, going into phase two. I fucking hope. Fuck. God damn. Now phase two. We don't have our cleanse, but this takes a while to charge up, so we might be able to pick it up. Doesn't matter when we cleanse, as long as we do cleanse. More enemies. Time for a buzz. Oh, quantum! Silver wolf! Lightning! Please! Just one this lightning! Speed. Come on. Don't be that guy. Well, are you're not that guy, pal. Ready. There's no time to lose. Here, this thunder! Naughty child. That's better. I'm on guard. That's... Wait, that mind control thing is a bit faster. And by a bit faster, I mean like a fair bit faster. Oh, yes. oh no. Oh no. This is not going well. This is not going well. Take a guess. Was that it? Can I have fun this time? Time for a buzz. <laughs> Alright, Silver, if you're trolling me now, you're just putting on the wrong this debuffs. Speed? You're just putting on the wrong debuffs, buddy. Follow my charge. Conflict is pitiless. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm on guard. Here, this thunder. Show no mercy. 
Time for a bun. <laughs> Oh, now she got dissociation. Conclusion. Oh. I thought I upgraded the thing to make it, like, uh, ignore chance to resist. Nap time. And to this point, I swear I did. But, oh well. She got a 34% uh, stacks, or 34 stacks of her buff. Which means that she has a 68% damage increase. That is not healthy huh. for me. More enemies. Time Lightning? For a buzz. Not fire. <laughs> Fair enough. It's pitiless. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something for everybody. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. A thousand things. Lance a blaze. Lance. Forward. Oh God, it's getting tense. Can She's getting so much scary. damage, and it's oh. Uh... Okay, <laughs> lightning. Lance at the ready. <laughs> lightning Lord. There's no time to lose. Here. She's like at five percent, three percent. Still got phase three to go, which is maybe I shouldn't have used that there because she'll die here, and then I need to save that for the next cleanse, which is. I'm on guard. Yeah, I should have saved that because she's phasing now. Oh, I'm an absolute idiot. Oh no, this is not going to go well. She also does like a billion percent more damage in this third phase. She's like a lot more active. Can I have fun this time? Um. Time for a fun. Okay. Out. I can. How do you like that? Just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. Good as new. Follow my charge. Oh, let's get a mind control in just a second. Natasha is the only one that isn't mind controlled. Um, so I have to cleanse someone that is useful. So. Here, this thunder. Tank man, I guess. Maybe provide a shield. Oof, unforge. Is that it? Something for everyone. Oh, Silverwolf's dead. Shit. Lance of Blaze. Shit. Forward. A thousand thanks. Lance at the ready. Did I just heal up? Just a little something. But she may as well apply her um nice teamwork. mind control now. Take a guess. Yep, there it is. That Cleanse is. it immediately. But now it's gonna be a longer fight because we don't have the uh, weakness application. So it's all up to Natasha. Oh my god. Thunder. Show no mercy. Don't be scared. I'm, I'm terrified. Something don't be scared. I am shitting my. No, don't. No, no, no. That's better. Oh, dude, Lance Natasha, place. please, Natasha, no. Natasha, Natasha, Forward. Natasha, Natasha. Come I had ten stacks of lightning man. Do something. Did ten percent. It did niche. Does that sting? Stop. Wait, no, that's... I don't have my cleanse up. Oh, no, not the cleanse being mistimed. I should get it before... I pray I get it before. Okay, there it is. Show no mercy. <laughs> Something for everybody. Watch your no, best. it's gonna do so much damage. Ah, uh, it's dealing so much damage. Quickly just heal. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. A thousand thanks. I'm on guard. Here, Lanny Lord, do some some big stuff, righty. Oh yes, ten percent of HP. Nice. Take a guess. Ah. Uh! Time for a shot. I am scared though, so we're gonna just That's do that. Better. Lands at the ready. <laughs> How do you like that? Lance ablaze. Lance! Forward! Ah, just uh Come with this pitiless. Don't be scared. 
That's fine. That's not fine. No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. I don't want to use the cleanse here. We can just... No, no. Oh. Man, she's got dots on her. Oh, fuck it. Ah, oh, fuck it. It, it stings like... No, stop snapping your fingers, please. Stop snapping your dumb fingers, bro. Show no mercy. Not even that time. It's a really bad run. 14. She's at 7%. Come on. Stop it. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Nice teamwork. Follow my charge. Conflict is pitiless. Wait, why does she only have the mark? Oh, wait! It's because the other guys resist it. Wait, if I do this, nobody gets mind controlled. Oh, then we're sweet. Um, I don't know why I use that again, but wait, well, yeah, because they had the subsiding whatever the fuck. I know we're good. Now we're good. We're good. Oh. Oh. I knew it. I knew it. I absolutely knew it. If you mess up that run, Kakolia punishes you so badly. If you literally don't get good stuff for that one, you just get punished really bad. We would have been fine if we had the uh, all three of the Abundance uh, Resonances, but there it is. Uh, T3, World 5. Kafka done. With a, a slight alteration to the team that we used before. Instead of Tingyun, now we use Silverwolf. Was that a valid change? I think so. T t just Silverwolf has really bad relics, so we... She, like, dies very quickly. But there it is. What do we get? Ice damage boost. Unfortunate that it's on not a good piece. But maybe if we get an effect... Or maybe she... You no, know, maybe that's alright on someone. We can have someone like the... Paler. Maybe that's alright on Paler. And then break effect. Yeah, it could be better. Oh, Jesus. Okay. That's... Oh. Oh. Now we got one more world. Can we can we clear can we do the full sweep first attempt on all of these? Can we do the full sweep? I don't think we can do it on Kakolia. I think Kakolia has too much damage and too frequently for me for me to be able to live. I just don't think we can do Kakolia. But we're gonna still attempt it. We're still gonna attempt it. I just think it's gonna be an absolute miserable fight. Miserable. But I think for this one. Everyone is weak to lightning, except this one guy, but he's weak to quantum fire. But because we're going to be running fireman... Oops, what is happening? Uh, we're going to be running fire trailblazer man. I think we can do world 6 T3. Um, this should be fun. This should be A-OK. -okay. Launch. Let's go. We don't stop. Uh, elation again. We want to be able to kill the enemies as quickly as humanly possible. So we go for the full DPS comp again. And uh, go for a curio. Maybe we can get something interesting. Speed. Action forwarding is always great. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I didn't see the average level of this one. Is I think maybe it's higher than the previous ones. Average level is a bit higher. Didn't do any damage there, so maybe it's the first enemy though. So, oh, terrible! All of them. Okay, come on now. Don't give me abundance preservation back to back on the run that I'm not doing abundance preservation. Shield breaking or weakness breaking? Yes. Uh, mainly because Kakolia will need a lot of that. I need to be able to break her weakness instantaneously. Follow my charge. Here, this thunder. Mm hmm. What? Wow. Wow. I lived through that. Thirty-two thousand. Very good. Where did the music go? Um, weakness break, uh, enemies, delays the enemy's action by 20%. Means we get more time. Sure. Can't harm. 
And if we get a f the other Nihility Weakness Break card, then we'll be absolutely, positively good. There's no time to lose. Come, wait. It's pitiless. Nap time. Meow. Thirty thousand. Follow my charge. He gets a turn. No. Oh, almost didn't get a turn. I wasn't expecting that much damage. Gonna go for the damage elation card just because might be a bit better. Now currents. You know what? We gotta risk it again. Maybe we'll get another triple trot. Maybe we'll get another triple trot. Oh! Oh! A, a triple trotter again. Back to back on the first occurrence door. How does he do it? Nobody will never know. Now, I don't know why I used this lady's thing first. That was a mistake. I should have went with the uh, this guy. So I could find out the weaknesses. Show no mercy. Now, oh wait, no, that one's... Really? Oh no! No, we're gonna miss out on the third one. I don't, why is this guy so fast all of a sudden? That's a bit odd. Oh, that's a bit unfortunate. We're not gonna get the other uh, third one. This one... Ah. Oh. Why is that all of a sudden like that? What the hell? Lands at the ready. All of... Okay, never mind. All of a... That'll take more than medicine. Oh, come on. What? How did that happen? How did he get ahead of a... Uh, how is he speed so fast? He literally didn't do anything. That's a bit crinkled. Uh, Hunt gives... Um, that one. And then Elation, considered as ultimate. Oh my god, this is... Oh yeah, Nakakoli is dead. Nakakoli is done for, dude. Oh, there's no chance Nakakoli lives. Uh, hey, what's up, Larry? Welcome to stream, man. The middle one always seems fast. Now, the thing is, uh, we did a run just before on the uh, on Kafka T3. And um, we got the same Trotter door, but the middle one was much slower. So I'm unsure why. That's what I was mainly pointing out. It was a, a bit of a difference in their speed uh, from one similar door to another. Bit of an inconsistency, if you will, in Mahoyo games. What? Hmm. Alright, we'll be able to do it. A foregone conclusion. Conflict is pitiless. Okay. Well, we have the critical boost card per turn. And now we have the ultimates are relation. Uh, ultimates are follow-up attack. We have... Okay, that's the... Oh! Bah. I'm going to go for the damage. I think focusing on damage. We have one of the uh, weakness break cards. We'll take that one if we get it again. But we already have one of them, so that's fine. Now, first elite. Okay, that's fine. First elite. That is fine. This one. Uh, but regardless, welcome to the stream later. I hope you're having a great day, buddy. Thank you so much. How's your, uh, how's your day been, dude? We're in trouble now. Oh, fuck off. What? <laughs> Come on. Hips me one time. 100% accuracy. Oh, fuck off. Thanks. Jesus Christ! Show no mercy. Getting good cards, but uh, not not getting good RNG on fighting. Jesus. Lands at the ready. Lands ablaze. Lands. Forward. Just chuck everything at it. There's no time to lose. Here. Lightning Lord, do your thing, buddy. 114,000 damage. Not bad, not bad. My body seems to be aching. I don't know why. Fuck, that sound... Just woke up. Body aching. That is, uh... That, that doesn't sound so good, but... Hopefully, uh... uh, uh maybe try to get a good nice rest. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that helps, usually. Maybe. <laughs> Never heard of just the body aching before. Uh, just straight up. You just sleep wrong? Slept with your arm sticking off the side of the bed. And that means that the boogie monster, right? The the boogie monster. Got ya, bro. He got ya. Let's upgrade these. 
Okay, weakness break efficiency, that's not too bad. And then we get... Oh, very good. Very, very good. Thank you. Okay, this Kokolia run might be pretty easy. I was very hesitant to say, but I think it might end up being a bit easy. If we can get the damage card here. Or the heal one. Okay, reduce damage taken. Or skill point recovery. Now, the thing is, in the Kokolia run... The, she does repeatedly summon things that I can weakness break, so I'm going to go with this one. Weakness breaking gives me a chunk of energy. Oh, not the Trotter again, dude. That's the shit Trotter. Sorry, I got mad. I woke up like eight hours ago, but I'm also a bit mentally exhausted. Hey, when you're reading a pretty messed up manga like you do, that does happen from time to time. Reading messed up manga can make you mentally exhausted. But uh, try it today. Hey, get another good ten hours, eight hours of sleep. That usually helps people. I can't speak from experience. Haven't really gotten one of those in a while. But, hey, sleep is great. Sleep is great. I increase the damage of follow-up attacks by 29%. Or 26, sorry. That's pretty good. Thank God, it's a Trotter. I love Trotters so much. What are you weak to? Wind, Quantum. I've got nothing that you're weak to. So, uh, I commend. we'll just chunk that on. And just go for it. Oh, come on. No fucking shot, dude, that it does that much damage. No fucking way. No, dude. What the fuck? No. Follow my charge. That's that was a ridiculous amount of damage for it to do. I was getting scared there. If my genuine wasn't able to carry that, I would have. We would have just died. Okay. Uh, energy regen increased. Elation. Thank you. Um, destruction. Elation. Oh, the, okay. Oh my god. Why, why am I getting so lucky all of a sudden? What the hell is happening? Maybe the game knows that Kakolia is the goat when I'm when it comes to me. Me and me and Kikolia. I haven't read anything today. Hey, well, maybe it's time to read. Maybe it's time to read some things. Maybe that's why, because you're so used to reading everything that now it's time, that, like, your brain's like, I haven't read anything. I haven't... I haven't read anything. I need to read! And, uh, yeah, maybe the world is just telling you that you need to read. That's fine. This guy finishes them off. Okay, cool. Uh, now we've got the energy gain on weakness break, which is very helpful. Elation, crit rate exceeds. We're going to go for the elation attacks are crit rated up. Much more useful. This region, region encounter. Should it be bad, region encounter? Let's give it a shot. Don't usually like to do region encounters, but we'll give it another crack, I guess. Um, okay. Win within four cycles. I'll give it a crack. Might have been a bad choice. Might have been a bad choice. Just a little something. Might have, might have been a really bad choice. Nice teamwork. There's no time to lose. Um, but then again, maybe not. So let me do this, 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 that. There. Use the R. No way, we can't. I thought I had enough energy for that. Okay, chuck that in there like that. Okay, do that one. He gets hit. Oh my god! He's the tank in that much that much damage. What the? That's incredible. Oh yeah, easy. Never mind. Uh, well, I found out I have something uh, to read about a, f uh, a few seconds ago. Oh, you're welcome. You're absolutely welcome for that one. I sent you that anime telepathically. That manga. I sent you it telepathically, so you're absolutely welcome. Um, I guess that one's fine. No, please. Give me something good. Elation, defense, preservation, abundance. 
When you weakness break, restore HP. We gotta go for the... I guess when you gain a shield, have a 20% chance to dispel defense on, on follow-up. Yeah, we'll go for the follow-up. Two chapters got released today for Boys Abyss, a depressing manga. Sounds, uh... Yes, yeah, another depressing manga. I can't say I, I know it, but hey, if you enjoy reading it, power to you. I've, uh, I found a, a few mangas. Um, I don't know their names again, full Japanese, but just been cycling through it. A lot more romance mangas that I've screenshotted through TikTok. Gotta love TikTok providing me with good mangas. My favorite part of every evening is that when I lay down in bed, just sitting down and finding some good manga. But I, uh, an unfortunate thing sometimes is when you find a really good manga that you like the visuals of a lot, but it ends up being a one-shot. I've, I've now been a, a, a subject to this. Uh, I, I didn't know how bad it was, but I've now realized that it's really, really annoying. Finding a good manga and then you find out that it's a one-shot. That's better. Alright, not bad damage. Um, not bad. Show no mercy. Eighty-six thousand. Yeah. Just a little something. Mm. Think nothing of it. I have to. Uh, I have to cleanse Jinyuan so Lightning Lord actually attacks. Okay. No, don't freeze. Shit. That's better. A thousand thanks. Just a little something. Right. Think you know what? Natasha's like energy regen is like kind of cooking right now, so maybe we're in the clear. I don't want to have to do this again, so we're gonna just use ultimate. And uh, not shield breaking, but apparently, okay. I'm not not killing, but shield breaking. Okay, that's fun. There was a period where I was just reading one shot a few months ago. I, you know, I respect one shot, but I just, I don't know, 30 chapters is pretty good. I like 30 chapters. That's pretty good. Maybe that's a tall order for some, but I like, one shots are great, oh, but dude, give me 30 chapters minimum and I'll be satisfied for life. 30 chapters at least. You can kind of tell a nice flow, nice, uh, nice stuff. Come on, 30 chapters. Um, let's go for... I'll enhance at the end. I'll enhance at the end again. I love, I like doing that a bit more now. It seems to result in a good, uh, flow. Actually, one of the things I hate the most is when it comes to manga, when you find something you like, but it got cancelled. Oh, that's obviously terrible. I'm a bit more... I'm also annoyed by that, but I prefer to know why the reason why... Okay, oh, tantalizing. Hold up, tantalizing. No. So we had a chance to be happy, but I can't be happy. Now, I think because of um, because of the nature of Kakoli and how she's an AoE fight, I believe the middle one is better. It means that I can be at high HP, but still have the bonuses from uh, Fighting Spirit, which is attack and defense increase. And I get four per enemy, uh, four per ally hit, so I can always have 16, depending on the uh, turn order of a lot of things. Fuck, I would have liked an elation card there, but... Uh, region encounter. Let me think. What can I encounter? Can I encounter something that I can actually kill? We're gonna do it regardless. Region encounter could mess me up here, but hey, we risk it mainly for the biscuit. All right. Um, yeah, but I, I like to like know sometimes why the reason why it was. Oh fuck, that's that's terrible. No, that's really bad actually. I can't do anything against this. I think this is GG's. Unfortunately. I unironically genuinely think this is GG's. Um, if the reason why it got cancelled is unfortunate, like uh, like a passing, I think that that's happened with a few mangakas. Um, then it's like fair enough. Like, you can't really do anything about that. Uh, but if it's like uh, it wasn't popular enough, I'm like, ah, oh, dude, it, it's pretty good though. Uh, but then if the reason for it being cancelled was I just didn't want to continue writing it, now that's annoying as fuck. That's annoying as hell. If the reason for it was, ah, I didn't feel like riding anymore. I think I'm gonna have to taunt here for this guy. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay. Some of the ones that I already got cancelled because of sales. I feel like that's like, uh, that's an unfortunate one, but you can't really do much about it, right? Like, sales is, is like, it just wasn't popular, right? But you're like, you're like, ah, oh, but it was such, it was pretty good quality, but it just wasn't popular. Whilst, um, there, there's been a few, or not maybe, I can't name them, but I don't doubt there's been a fair few where it's like, cancelled just because he didn't want to continue writing it, or he just got bored of writing it or something like that. Now, those ones are, like, to me, a massive kick in the dick. They're like, oh, dude, it was, it, you, had, you had something going. This could have been big. This could have been huge. This could have been the new Demon Slayer. This could have been the, the next big thing. But he gave up. All right, there we go. Never mind. I thought this boss was going to be a bit harder, but no. Um, the more shield absorption is great and all, but we're not going to go for it. We want more damage, and we're not getting it, so... Okay, we didn't actually get our last elation card, but that's that's fine. That's mostly fine. Also, another thing, a rushed ending. Oh, rushed ending's always annoying, though, no matter what. Rushed endings are infinitely annoying to, to everyone. I don't think a single person likes them. Which, to be fair, makes sense. Now, this could be crazy. We could get a lot more stacks when we get hit, so we get a... But this one is aftertaste damage increases. This one's survivability. This one's aftertaste. We gotta go for the aftertaste. It's a bit more plain to Jinyuan. That could be the end of this run, but... Uh, and then, uh, an extension... This one right here. The follow-up damage. Okay. Kakolia. Tier 3, bring it on, buddy. Coca-Cola, Tier 3. Okay. I commend. One, two, <laughs> three. Start off with this, okay. You are doomed to fail. Am I doomed to fail? Am I? Show no mercy. A thousand one or are you doomed to die, <laughs> idiot? Oh shit, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> that did, unironically, a lot of damage. Is this a one-shot here, though? Come on. Whoa. That was a lot of damage. That was, in fact, a large percentage of damage. We're gonna heal just to, you know, stay on top of it. We don't want to fall behind on HP. That's usually a bad thing. We're actually gonna do this one. We're gonna do the, this guy's ultimate. He doesn't shield break! Oh my god! Oh, he doesn't have... We didn't have the weakness break efficiency. That is so unfortunate. <laughs> Alright, we'll send it. This should kill her. Okay, then um, Bronya comes in. We don't have sensory pursuit, unfortunately. Um, we're gonna taunt because it's a lot better. That's fine to happen. Because everyone, we should be getting mad amounts of stacks. Formation. This will be your burial ground. That it. Witness the avalanche. <laughs> just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. Nice teamwork. <laughs> There's no time to lose. Oh, I think we're dead here. I wasn't expecting her to just not. Let's be friends. That's just not how that I thought that would work. I just thought maybe, like, Lightning Lord would actually do something, but apparently fucking not. Show no mercy. It's now or never. Tremble before my power. Okay. No, don't freeze him. A thousand wonders to fight as one! Just, just a okay, I'm just, just focusing here for a second. Uh, because the intensity is high. I'm okay. Right, that's fine, right? We end up with this. Welcome, customers. 
the eternal breeze will bury you. Go away. No way she's gonna turn forward her, right? No fucking shot, that's fair. Nah, that's fucking unfair as fuck. Turn forwarding that ability is the worst mechanic Maho's ever implemented. What the fuck? What the fuck? Alright. Relax. Relax. Should have taunted. Bro, piss off. Now, Bront, like, oh, uh, Natasha's... Okay, we'll live a bit more, we'll live a bit longer. Had some shields going. Alright, no, we win. I think we win here, yeah. Whack that in there. Smack that up there. Do that one. Right. Dude, I, that is, I knew that was coming because it's happened to me before, but she should not be able to turn forward her into her ultimate. It's so poorly designed. It's a very, like, there should be a bit of a limit on what you should be able to do there with a uh, turn forwarding. Jesus, but there we go. All the new uh, level 60 SUs done. Tier 4 of Svarog and Japard, and then tier 3 of Kafka and, um... Kafka and uh, Kakolia. God damn! No time though. I wish I could get a time. Alright. Lightning damage boost, stinky. And energy regeneration rate, stinky as well. Which is here for the XP and the uh, the crystals. <laughs> Woo! Dude, that took us two hours to do. Holy crap, that took us two whole hours to do those four runs. Oh, yeah. About 30 minutes per run, I guess. Oh yeah, call it. let me crack my bones real quick. Ugh. And there was almost some cases where a manga is not getting enough sales, so the author had to make an ending that is open-ended, kind of. Oh yeah, I don't doubt that as well. There's probably a lot of unfortunate circumstances that every mangaka had to uh, do to... do to, uh, to uh, uh, abruptly finish their anime or manga or whatever. Alright, there it is. No more simulated universe for a long time, eh? No more simulated universe for a very, very long time. But now that we're here... We did get to level 60 today, and as for, for those who have added me, you can use my level 80 Jing Yuan, who is juiced to his absolute mind. Man can carry a lot of things. Uh, but I also, from the, the thing, we also got a few rolls, right? We have three rolls from the tearing up or the EQ up of the world, right? And so, I think I'm estimating a five star right here, right now. Look at this, right? We have two more until 150. Now, that does mean that I will get something because I said so, right? So here it is, here it is. Nope, nothing. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Tingyun is by far the worst thing to get. Uh, because I, I have her at E6 already. 20 Undying Embers. Unfortunate. Now 5 star right here. Clara or Bailu? Bailu right here. Bailu? Uh, it wasn't Bailu. It wasn't actually anything useful. Dude, what is my pity? What the fuck? Dude, where am I at? Where am I at? T 5, 10, 15, 20. Bro, I'm, I, I'm right there. I need to be right there right now. Dude. Okay, it's not, okay, we're, it's not that close, but... Dude, I swear I should be getting many more things right now. I'm feeling a bit of negative you know, positivity energy. Negative energy right now from, from Mahoyo. Anyway. Warp 40 times, no worries. Thank you for giving me that. That gives us more levels. And yeah, there it is. Uh, yeah, Jing Yuan is uh, juiced out of his goddamn mind right now. Look at this, we're leveling these things up. But goddamn, I didn't actually know that it was going to get this expensive. 14 keys to get it from 9 to 10. To get it from 9 to 10, it's 14 purple keys. Now, that's not too bad. Uh, it's a bit higher than I expected, but... Um, worst case scenario, it's like 14 keys, that's like two days of grinding, I think. Including blues and greens converted into it. Um, six purples expected, potential more, a lot of blues, purples, yeah. It's not terrible, but it's uh, definitely slightly higher than I expected. I was expecting about 12 to 10 for uh, level 10, uh, but it's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, you get a lot of power. Jingyuan needs these things. 
Anyway, we have a bit of energy to spend before we uh, try to do something else. Uh, we're going to try to build up a few of our other characters. We need to desperately get up. Uh, I believe we want to do this lady. We want to get her up to 80, but I also do a thing I want to focus on Ting Yun. Ting Yun is a bit more of a solid unit in for my Jing Yuan team, so I think we're going to focus on getting her materials uh, and before we try to do other person's materials. So let's go do Stagnant Shadow, uh, Shape of Fulmination. Uh, Hinawa Ga Crush is the one I'm talking about. It's a sequel to Akame Ga Kill, and it follows Akame going into another country. Really? Is that a thing? I didn't know that was a thing. Um, like a, a sequel to a uh, Akame Ga Kill. Is that the one that you're talking about, it, like being left open ended? Well, to be quite fair, here's the thing. Now, I'm not going to be that guy. I don't want to be rude. But when the mangaka did fuck up a car mega kill, he did kind of mess it up. And, like, with his, um... I'm not sure, again, I can't... I don't know if it's a he or she. But they did mess it up with uh, the ending of the... You know, it's known for not having a good ending, so... I'm not saying he deserves any hate or whatever, but, like, the ending was shit, so... I it, it failing is not un unpredictable. Uh, it was cool to see some familiar faces, but now we can't see it continue. Yeah, unfortunate. The manga you're talking about the anime. Well, he, they translate into both, right? They translate into both. Because if the if the anime name has a bad record, then the manga's not going to have a good record either, right? If they both, well, if one of them sucks completely, and I mean completely, if 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 the reason one of them sucks is the connection between the two, because the only reason that the, the anime sucks is because it's a completely different ending compared to the fur, uh, the manga, right? The manga. And the anime are completely different endings and when it's that they both have a bad track record they both have a bad name in them right so it, it kind of translates because like the other way would be like for example the the one piece the one piece anime is pretty stinky but it's stinky because it's paced poorly so that's kind of a negligible difference whilst the reason that the okamiga kill anime sucks is because it's just a vast difference from the manga I hate this fucking character. I hate this goddamn enemy. This lightning lady, why could they have to make the lightning one just obnoxious? Time for a nap time. Because to be quite fair, any time a Kamiga kill is ever mentioned, you know, regardless of how good the manga can be, or regardless of what anyone's watched, if you mention a Kamiga kill to the, an anime community, they'll be like, oh, that thing. Yeah, I hated its ending, right? Everyone mentions that they hated its ending, regardless of if they watched or read both, right? You're just kind of like, ugh, ending. Yikes, eh? So it's just got a bad name right now. Got a pretty bad name. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Nice teamwork. Hmm. Okay. God damn, that was a lot. Five, there it is. Nice. Five. Right, maybe I should... No, I can't really swap teams, can I? That's the only team that really works. It's the only team that works. Mm hmm. Oh, well, that's the is oh, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> Naughty child, nap time. I'm on guard. Boop. Boop. Mm hmm.
Okay. Maybe... Alright, dude. For your sins, my ball sack. Don't hit me with that. Fifty K, wow. A thousand things. Yeah, Tingan's HP is like chronically like zero. I need to get her also relics. Show no mercy. Mm-hmm. Please just die. Thank you. Alright, so she needs 28 to get to, um, to center the lady. So that means we're at 10 now. How many days does that say? It? How many energy? So we can, we can probably get all of it tomorrow, to be quite fair. Need three, three, four more kills. Just need four. Four more kills. That's 120 energy. We'll get that tomorrow. Cool, so she'll be 80 tomorrow. Then I need to farm books probably to get her to 80. Uh, I'll farm her relics up eventually. Um... And then after that, we'll probably get Trailblazer up to 80. But to be quite fair, if I did just put all these books into him... Right, he can just go up, right, if I just have these. Yeah. Yeah, we can just get him to... 80. Uh, increases the wearer's defense by 16. Versus this one's 32. When entering a battle, all type increase uh, increases all type res for all allies by 8 percent Effects of the same type cannot stay. Oh, that's a pretty good one, but I would need to get this thing up to in position, in position 5 if I want to have the same defense value, right? Hold up. What, is the, what does it go up by? 18. 16, 18. No, it only go up to 24 then. Hmm. All type resistance... That's pretty good. Alright, maybe I should use that one because it'll be higher, f higher flat defense. Um, and that is what is that? What's it called? A day one day uh, one of my new life. It got a six point nine rating on my my list. The anime or the manga? The anime or the manga? Which one is that? Because, um, I don't know, I just think of word of mouth as well. Like, my anime list and all that can be as great as it can be, but word of mouth kind of information is also pretty, pretty hefty on a, on a manga's, uh, reputation. If, because if people just generally think about it negatively, it's not gonna have a great reputation. But then again, it's, it's di different perspectives to look at the anime as well, right? Different perspectives. Um... Okay, uh, we're done with our grind for today. HSI has been absolutely fucking beautiful. Uh, beautiful. Uh, when when does this happen? When does this reset and whatnot? 14 days is the next uh, stuff. Wow, that's a long time. 21 days total banner time. Wow. Wow. Incredible. All right. What's, wait, what's in the mail? Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. What's the achievements? Equip a character with a level 5, 15 in all slots. Okay, thank you, I guess. And then, what's this one? Use Silver Wolf to apply a different type of weakness for a total of three times to a single enemy. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Understandable. Now right, we're out of here. Uh, Hinawago Crush got 6.9 and My Kamigo Kill got 7.8. As for the anime, 7.5. That's average. I believe. That's like slight. I think the the manga got, is like pretty... That, that rating is pretty good. The anime rating is like... 
closer to average. I think most animes get 7, to be quite fair with you. Most animes get a 7 to 6, so... Yeah, it's 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 it, it's fair enough. Uh, to be quite fair, I had no idea that I was getting uh, like it had a sequel thing. So, um, maybe it's just a complete me thing. Maybe I just am out of the loop. I'm just out of the loop. But I've never seen manga panels for the game either. So yeah, it probably is just a me thing. I've never seen a manga panel for it. I've never seen it. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit odd. It's a bit odd. Let me actually have a look at this. Uh, what, what's it called again? Uh, uh, Hinoa Ga Crush. Interesting name. They could have just called it a Karmaga kill, but yeah, fair enough. Uh, my anime list. Hin... Uh, Hino... Hinowa? Hinowa? No, that's how you spell it. Hin... Okay. Ga... Rush. Oops, shit, too many spaces. Yeah, I am. A spin-off of a Kamiga kill. Early sections of Hangover Crush do make improvements over previous installments, like better world building. Huh. There you go. I had no idea. Eight volumes, 53 chapters. Fair enough. But yeah, I... Akami is a supporting character. Maybe that's why. She's not a main character. I'm, I personally, I'm not sure, again, I'm not going to talk about it specifically, but some animes, I think it was Black, was it Black Bullet? I think it was Black Bullet. Um, or something like, Hida oh no, Hidana Ari or something like that. One of these, anim like, when animes have a season one, where someone's a main character, and then season two is a different main character, don't do that. Don't do that. Does not provide any value to the anime, or the manga. Does not do anything for it. It does not provide a single single thing now i'm not sure if i can't really kill probably not it's not like it but um don't do that to your mangas or animes it just doesn't do anything it just does not do anything uh not a lot of people knew there was a sequel so that likely affects the sales and popularity probably it's also a different name right it's a different name so that's a big one as well usually like when you call something completely something completely different it doesn't really do much for it and you have to be kind of ingrained in the community for it to work as being ingrained in the community to like know what it's called and following the actual manga and whatnot hmm but yeah that's cool regardless of it though i just don't like a main character was not akame so see you later the only main character that should be a main character in this universe is akame her name i guess hinoa is now the main character but it's like dude come on come on I don't like that. I don't like it. But it's a seinen as well. Was it can't be a killer seinen? No, no, it was a shonen. That also may be a big reason. A can't make a kill was probably advertised on the on the shonen jump, right? That can be a big one. When you're advertised on the shonen jump, you're much more known than a seinen. Just just known, quality wise, out of the out of the question. But just going on Shonen Jump, you're much more known than being on whatever Seinen's one is, right? Seinen Jump? Seinen Jump? Ultra Jump. Weekly Young Jump. Yeah. Ultra Jump is a Japanese monthly Seinen manga. Yeah. So it's like... when you're, Whenever you're on like Shonen, like anything's popular when it's on Shonen Jump, to be quite fair. So, and any shonen is always popular, whilst seinens, they have to, like, have, like, world building through the roof and quality of, uh, character and, and meaning and whatnot, 
and and like a lot more they have to have a lot more aspects to be noticed right there's not a lot of seinen out there that people could rattle off like they've just seen like uh the, the first newborn they'd be like you know it's just not a thing that you can do or well, not the average person can do it, at least right i wouldn't be i could name you probably about three seinen berserk vagabond vinland saga done that's all the seinen i know shonen though i could go for one piece naruto bleach fucking black you know you have you have the fucking full repertoire of shonen next month face slash strange fake nice well one of the characters got cucked in that so you can probably guess uh, for real yeah exactly what's seinen seinen is um uh, simply put, shonen is for young children or young boys, and, and uh, I think it's actually, I think it actually is young boys. So like the ages of like twelve to sixteen, I think. Don't quote me on the actual ages, but shonen is young boys. Seinen is adolescent boys, I believe. So like sixteen to twenty. Uh, that and it's a target demographic, rather. It's not a genre; it's a demographic. My apologies. I am not actually telling you that. Yeah, it's a demographic. So, uh, seinen, uh, seinen meaning. Uh, is the editorial category of Japanese comics marketed towards young adult men? So, like, 18 to 20 or so. Whilst, uh, shonen, I believe, is, like, uh, aimed at primarily young male audience, typically categorized as action-filled plots. So, below the requirements of seinen. Or requirements, not requirements, obviously. It's just, um, uh, recommended, obviously. But yeah. Saiyan and tend to have, like, a lot deeper and darker plots. Berserk and Vagabond being great examples of that. They're just, like, dark plots. Berserk is miserable. Vin Vinland Saga is a great one of, of dark plots. T t t typically, plots that you can't explore if you're a fucking infant, essentially, right? If you're a, a child, you just can't generally be a, like see these plots. But that doesn't stop people. That does not stop people, right? Generally speaking, you wouldn't want to show Berserk to a child. It's not a great thing to show them. Um, and I'll stop with that one. Uh, what's, uh, what's the other top Sena manga besides the most popular ones? Well, that's the thing. It's hard to name them because they're like very... So I like, okay, here we go. I've got, I've got the, I think it's my anime list. I'll, I'll, I went to the seinen category. Um, seinen category, you got Berserk, Jojo's, Vagabond, Monster, Vinland Saga, Grand Blue, Oyasa, uh, Oyasumi Pun Pun, Kingdoms, Hoseki no Kuni, um, 20th Century Boys, Kaguya Sama, Real. But a lot of these are, are, are seinen in a different way, right? A lot of these are seinen in a very, very different way. So, Kaguya-sama is a seinen in the sense of its adolescent romance, right? Okay, can you can you go up the screen, please? What the fuck? Right, Kaguya-sama is like a seinen in the sense of adolescent romance. Um, Grand Blue is adolescent comedy. Bro, can you? Thank you. Um, whilst these other ones, Berserk, Vagabond, Monster, are adolescents in the terms of like psychological fucking trauma, right? So it's like... It's seinen in a different way. One Punch Man is a seinen, but it's a seinen comedy. Um, and so on and so forth, right? Oshino Ko, seinen in the sense of plot. So it's like, there's different ways of seinen. Well, shonen... Eh, shonen's cringe. I hate shonen anyway. Yeah, there was... Okay, Berserk makes sense. I, I, I've, I've not watched all of these, by the way. I've not watched any of these, actually. The only one I've watched, Kaguya Summer and One Punch Man. I'm not much of a seinen kind of guy. I guess Tokyo Ghoul was there, but... Wait, where was Tokyo Ghoul? Golden Kamui. Um, Tokyo Ghoul was somewhere here. There you go. Tokyo Ghoul's there. Bungo Stray Dogs. Ping Pong. Neon Genesis. Can I zoom in a bit? Does that hide it? No, it's right. Doro Hidoro. And that's a pretty good one. Yeah, there's like a, yeah, Shonen's, Shonen's great, Seinen's great, but I feel like Seinen just has a lot more, a lot more meaning behind a lot of its things, right? I think it's a lot more enjoyable. Is this Spice and Wolf? Oh my god, Spice and Wolf's a Seinen? I had no idea. Spice and Wolf's great, if you want a good one. 
good two seasons of uh, 24 episodes each, I believe. I love Spice and Wolf. And I think, now I'm trying to find it if it's here. I don't think it is. I'm not sure if it's classified as a seinen or like a horror or whatever. Um, there's a, there's one like a revenge manga that I keep on seeing on, on TikTok. And I, I can't remember it for the life of me. But I want to read it. Uh, I will probably read it eventually. I, I, there's these, there's two revenge plot manga that I want to read so bad. Two revenge plot manga. And I'm looking forward to reading them. Uh, I can't. One's about a guy getting revenge for like people bullying him, and the other one is a mother getting revenge for her son's death or something. It's uh, it's. I'm, I'm looking forward to reading them. Something about revenge plot manga is like kind of interesting to me. Something about revenge plot. I feel like they're better thrillers than most thrillers. Steins Gate is another great uh, seinen. Love Steins Gate. Um, Trigon, obviously. Yeah. Anime, man. Anime, manga. Uh, I think I know the Mother's Revenge one. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's kind of like if you're on anime TikTok in any way, then uh, you'll see it. But uh, it's 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 a pretty cool one. The mother. The mother's son is bullied by a group of bullies to the point of... This, um, what I'm saying is in all in chapter 1, so it's obviously not too much spoiler. I do apologize for those who may find it spoiler, but it's just chapter 1. But the um, the mother's son gets bullied to the point of like uh, being dared to jump off a cliff. And then her mother, out of desperation, tries to find him in the wilderness or whatever. And then a car hits him. And then Neshi becomes a nurse at the school where all the bullies are. And enacts... Uh, her revenge against the, all the bullies. It's obviously very fantastical, very, um, ve very uh, out of the ordinary. But I think something about it is is kind of interesting. I, I like um, revenge plot. They, they they're much better thrillers than most other thrillers where they try to find thrillers through just kind of like high tempo. I think revenge plots are, are better thrillers in that sense because you never know what the character will do. Um, specifically, I can't show any panels from it. Um, but this one. Um, I'm gonna have to try to find it. I'm gonna have to try to find it. But this other, the the, the first one that I mentioned, where the guy tries, like the guy himself was bullied, um, and he he's getting revenge on all the people that bullied him. This one is like gruesome as hell, and it's like you can't really show any of it on any kind of social media. It's impossible. Um, I'll just I'll just mention it if I can find it. Um, not Goblin Slayer, not Kasane, not Seraph of the- Seraph of the End is a revenge plot? What the fuck? Not that one. Don't believe it's that one. Give me one second. Attack on Titan is not a revenge manga. What the- Okay, none of these- Okay, is it- I think it's this one. Ah, oh, yeah, here it is. Uh, Jujika no Rokunin. Jujika no Rokunin. Um, I'll just, uh... I'll just, just show some images. Um, hopefully there's nothing too crazy here apart from... Yeah, this one. This one has some fucking gnarly-ass fucking, uh... gnarly-ass scenes. I can't... I'm not gonna show any more of the images because... If I scroll so I accidentally, there'll be some fucking fucked up stuff, but it's absolutely fucked and messed up and whatnot, but it's, uh, it's, it's a bit better thriller than what I would think is, um, what I think an actual thriller is. And I'm, I want to read this one. 131 chapters, and I think it's still going. I saw this one on the cover. I think it's really good. I, the, the, I've read it a bit of it on TikTok through, obviously, the TikTok stuff, but I think it's really good. I think, um, I'm not sure how well rated it is. I don't. Um, what has it? What Jujika no Rokunin? Uh, let me. Uh, Jujika no Rokunin. It's 7.0, 7.1-ish. I think it looks great. Um, it's messed up though. I just yeah. It's a decent manga. Skip to the TLDR. Yeah, I'm not gonna read it. Obviously for spoiler reasons, but I think it's um, I think it's right. I like Reven revenge manga. There it is. There it is. 
And then there was a third one that people generally talk about with Revenge Manga, but I just can't remember what it's called or remember the plot, but there was a third one. Those are, those are the two that I want to watch. Those are the two Revenge ones that I want to watch. Is, um, Jujika and... What is that? Okay, let me just find the name of that one. Uh, Mother Revenge Manga. Let me just find its name. Um... Um, oh, Mario no Dunzai. Yeah, that's the other one. Mario no Dunzai. Mario no Dunzai. Uh, rated higher than the other one. After her son died a horrific death, mother tries to bully the, uh, uh, get the bullies. Uh, it's not even in any list. Uh, actually, no, it's listed that as adult manic, so I can't find it. Oh, really? Okay. I guess it would be. It, these are like revenge manga, like ones that are focused on revenge, is a, a generally just gruesome as hell. Like that's the only like th that is their genre. They don't have drama, suspense, thriller. It's just revenge. <laughs> they're like that. They're, they're pretty good. But yeah, Mario no Danzo. That's the other one I'm gonna read. Again, I'm not gonna show many panels because it's gruesome. Um, and quite. Well, I just don't want to spoil it as, as well for you guys. But yeah, that's the other one I want to watch. Um, oh, sorry, not watch, read. My apologies. No, you don't watch manga, you read manga. And other than that, I've just been picking up small romances, and I'm looking forward to reading every single goddamn one of them. Every single goddamn one of them. Sorry, I'm just looking at anime here. My apologies. Um, I don't want to like show too many anime things because I'm not sure how stringent anime is with showing stuff. But uh, dude, JJK season two in like 20 days, I heard or something like that. Like 20 or odd days, it's gonna be launching, dude. Oh, I can't be more excited. I cannot be more excited for that. Also, Mushoku Tensei. Oh, I can't be more excited for that. Oh, and then, oh, all this other stuff that's happening. Like, uh, Bleach, even though I don't watch Bleach, Bleach is fun to see, the new season. Oh, soon. Oh, yeah. And then, what else? What else? Anything else interesting? Oh, so many good ones. So many good ones. Um, Devil is a part-timer, second season. Oh, so good. And then, Kanajo. Oh, that's a rented girlfriend. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, Hori Mia, ah, oh! Hori Mia, ah, oh! so good. I'm excited for Zashu. Let me see what that one is. Let me try to find that Zashu. Psychopaths? No. Psychopaths? Is that Psychopaths? No, surely not. Psychopaths is done. Shuffle. I don't know what Zashu is. Oh yeah, there are some zingers. There are some zinger animes coming in the next season. Woo. A Gilgamesh, uh, Fate Straight. Ah, oh, the Fate series. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. Yep. Okay. Maybe that's just not here on uh, my name list that I've seen yet. Or maybe I just don't know how to identify it. But yeah, no, fair enough. Absolutely understandable. The Fate series. Let me just have a look at its cover, though. Fate, Strange... Okay, I'm gonna be honest. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a second. I'm gonna take a second here to talk about this. Fate series, just why, why are we named weird things? Why do we just say the name is something weird and accept it? Like, what are these names? Fate Stay Night, Fate Apocrypha This, Fate Strange Here, Up Left Right, Down Center Gravity Control, Fate Irregular, Baba Booey. Bro, name it something simpler, please. I can't do it anymore. I just can't do it anymore. I have a conniption trying to remember any of the fate shit. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous, I tell you. 
Oh my god. I just can't handle it. Anyway, that was just a small rant. I just wanted to rant a bit. Fate Extra, Fate Extella, Fate Kaled, Fate Type Redline, Fate This, Fate That, Fate Baba Baba Daba Bada. It ah! makes me so mad. It does make me so mad. Um. Anyway, Fate Strange. What is it? Extra Fake. Fate Strange Fake. Uh, images. Is it centered around Gilgamesh? I'm assuming that's what you mean, Gil Gilgamesh. By it. he's like the main character. Oh yeah, the front cover of the of the manga has him on as the thing. Him and this green-haired lady, nice though, nice. Very cool. Red line, fucking. Gilgamesh is kind of a goaded character. I do like his portrayal everywhere. Gilgamesh. Mesopotamian heroes. Oh yeah, Gilgamesh is the oldest of all civilizations. True, Mesopotamia is incredible, like the, the original civilization. Hey, that's not a lady. In fact, it doesn't have a gender. Looks female. Female to me. Looks female. Female to me. That's what I believe. <laughs> it looks cool. Again, I'm not going to try to understand the Fate series, so I'm immediately closing that tab and never talking about it again. <laughs> you know, if it's if it's not gay, if it's clay. That's true. That's true. <laughs> what a saying. What a saying. Yeah. His one and only friend? I don't think you can have friends and be called Gilgamesh at the same time. It's impossible. Gil smashing that clay booty. Hey. Get what you can take, right? The man's a loner. Hard to make friends with. You get what you can take. So, or you take what you can get. Hey, I'm not blaming him. I'm not blaming him in any way. Not blaming him. Do whatever you want, buddy. Do whatever you want. You're a free spirit. You're a free spirit. Be who you want to be. Just don't, don't associate with me. You know what I mean? That's what I'm, uh, that's what I'm saying. Don't associate with me. All right, we've been sitting around for a bit of a while, boys. We've been sitting around for a bit of a while. Um, we did everything we wanted to achieve today, and we absolutely got absolutely rasted. Uh, Hong Kong Impact has betrayed me, and I don't think I like the game on a personal level anymore. Uh, we didn't get full set here. Uh, we did do Honkai Star Rail things, though, and we did get all of the new stuff at level 60 done. We got all of it done. All of Simulator Universe is done. They'll be up as their individual parts um, over the next few days um, as, uh, as more people achieve it. Uh, they'll be up as they are. For now, we're probably going to close up the stream a bit early because I don't want to dilly-dally around. I don't want to waste people's time with just me sitting here. Um, so we're going to do that tomorrow. Uh, in the essence of trying to get to a bit more variety, right? I, I get into a bit more variety gaming again. We're going to play a different game. It's not even going to be a gacha game. It's going to be a completely new game, but it's not going to be Subnautica. Subnautica is still a hefty price. And I uh, uh, and Subnautica, I want to play it at a different interval. So tomorrow we're going to start a completely different game. That's just a bit of a roguelike chill game that's centered around Japanese. We're going to play Warm Snow. I've also been reading Call of the Night. I'm going to read that as well when I go overseas. I'm going to read Call of the Night 100%. Call of the Night is on my read list. Call of the Night looks incredible. I've, I've watched the first season. Call of the Night, after the first season, seems to get a lot more intense. And a lot more... Um, I'm just using the word intense. I'm not going to try to use another word. It looks to seem... Uh, gets a, a lot more intense, and I'm looking forward to that. But yeah. Um, yeah, tomorrow we're going to play Warm Snow. We're going to grab that. and going to have a bit of fun with Warm Snow. Uh, it's, a, it's a chill roguelike game, but it's got some cool boss designs. And it's centered around, I, I believe, Japanese Samurais. We love Japanese Samurais here at Venessence Incorporated. So we're going to play that and have a bit of a fun time with that. And then sometime in the f near future, we're going to sit down and play uh, Subnautica uh, as, as a bit of a fun time. Right, we're going to sit down and play Subnautica. Before this stream, and for this evening, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Oh, God. Oh, Olex, I've clicked the wrong button again. 
I clicked the wrong button again. There we go. Uh, for this evening, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Catch you guys tomorrow for some warm snow. Have a great evening. Catch you guys then. And stay safe. Peace out. Bye.